as dark as it matters. Um, this will be better than the SNL season finale. As you can see here, Michael Bilo is in a car. That is that is true. This is this is this is true. <laughs> yeah, mobile mobile Bilo. That why have we never taken advantage of mobile Bilo? It's uh, it's true. I mean, we took advantage of, of you know uh, stationary stationary Bilo um, at a at a different location a couple of weeks ago. Sarah Walker 84 saying this is not a hot tub. This is not a hot tub. Uh, my hot tub is still broken, but it is dark matters. It is dark matters. Where are you going? You should drive somewhere interesting, Milo. Now that you're out on the road. Uh, I I can I suppose. Um, I don't know where that would be. Yeah, I mean I'm very close. I'm very close to my house now, so I have to pee. But uh, my wife, my wife uh, uh, Sam is driving the car, so this is not uh, this is this is safe matters. Okay. Well, and you can't see the chat. Everyone is mad at us because we're not in a hot tub. Uh, they, as as well they should be, and you know, I, I would be mad had I had I not, uh, you know, basically violated the the premise of the show by by doing the first uh, I don't know what well, it will probably be five minutes uh, of of showtime before I actually get to uh, uh, get to my computer. We really need to. Uh... Where in the world is Bilo? I think Bilo's in his driveway of his house. That's where I correct. actually went, I went. So this here's big news, and uh, I'm sorry we we did put up the out the newsletter saying it was not the um, hot tub show this week because my hot tub still is not working. This is really exciting. Well, you got to show everybody your house now. This is where I yeah. was on Tuesday. Let's see. Can we? Can we? Can we see? Uh, Ice cream cone. Your your. Well, maybe it's your other email address that's subscribed, but um, you should be subscribed to the newsletter. All right, here we are. Here's the entranceway here. Go. Yeah. I like that we were going to talk about a murder and we end up doing a house tour. This is like the most. Yeah. This is where this is where Oscar uh, got to got to play. That's right. Oscar Oscar what lied to me. <laughs> he he lied to me. I said I said we would do I don't know a, two more or something like that. Or I said we'd do like eleven uh, 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 or nine. I forget I forget the exact number. Of, uh, All right. Well, of, Ob, Ob TV wants to see your uh, refrigerator. My refrigerator. Great. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. <laughs> I like that. Because my refrigerator. We're taking a look in the in the refrigerator. Why? People want to see their refrigerator. Why? I don't know. It's... But I'm in the refrigerator. <laughs> All right, well, we'll take a look at the refrigerator, I guess, a little bit later. We can't look at the refrigerator right now? Well, I, maybe we can look at it, you know, in... Maybe we can look at it now? Wow. Philo Here we go. Being All right. dominated by his wife, Sam. Here, Here it is. Go. What do we got in there? Take a look inside. This is This is tea. This is tea that I I brew. I brew this tea myself. You brew you brew it out of your uh, bladder. <laughs> I brew it. I brew. I, I have I've bought many different teas and I brew, I brew them, and then make large quantities of tea that I can that I can later uh, that I can later drink. Here, this is a tea in a broke in a broke year's dairy. Uh, how is this show? This might be the quickest that a show devolved in the history of our show, because you were not even. Where were you, by the way? I was at I was at Galby House. Oh, you were eating Korean and, barbecue. Uh, we were supposed to, yeah, we were supposed to get seated at seven and didn't get seated until like seven forty-five. So the time that I thought. I this see a is lot more, of creamers in there. Uh, it's true. There's there's milk. There's whip, there's heavy whipping cream. There's a uh, uh, almond milk. This is more tea. 
got some got some leftovers. This peri peri chicken from uh, the Molly Bass cookbook that, uh, that that Sam made for me. It was delicious. Coffee. Uh, edits Edit Stock wants to know what what brand of and flavor of the tea is that you made. This is this is uh, from Conservatory Conservatory for Coffee. We might as well go through the whole pantry at this point. Let's do it. Well, this is look we're, we're we're shifting gears here. This is this Wait. is before this is so so this is this is the 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 tea. This is a Conservatory for Coffee coffee tea and cocoa <laughs> brand. Uh, Earl Day Earl Grey de la Creme tea. Dark Matters fan that's asking what, why is this weirdly is. so interesting. I agree 100. percent I don't know. <laughs> This was, I, I believe, this was a, a gift for for my wife's birthday. It was, you know, one of those one of those gifts that, like, I think it is a gift, but it, it also is something that I really wanted. Um, so I, I got like, uh, I don't know, about a dozen different types of tea. Um, this is China Yunnan. We got a coconut black. We got uh, Nilgiri Tiger Hill. We got Earl Grey de la Creme. <laughs> it's 10.08. Uh, wh- let's give away one of those cups, ben Bilo. Shot. Let's let's give away one of those cups to somebody. All you, right. You can't use all those cups, right? Some of them look like promotional cups. Some of them, some of them certainly are promotional. Uh, I feel bad. I would feel bad giving away any of um, any of the ones that you know don't don't belong to me. Yeah, that would I make could, sense. Um, uh oh. We may have lost. May uh, may have lost our connection. Oh, here he's he's back. Somewhat. You're... I do have. I do. Have, I don't know. But, uh, I guess you lost me, but I was still. Uh, I, I kept. Whoa! What is that? Now I see. I see that mug there now. Yes. I don't know if, if you can get a good. If you can get a good hard look at this one. Uh, I think this I see a, you a, there. Oh, oh, is that you and your yep. sister? Is that your yeah, parents, mom, and then who's in the middle there? My mom, my dad, and my and my uncle. This is quite a mug. It would. Oh my god! I want. Giving, wait, I want that mug. You want this mug? Yeah. <laughs> wait, can we just can we send everybody the Bilo family? Can we make a copy of that mug, and uh, include it in our stimulus package that we never sent out? It does. I mean, the longer it goes on without us sending a stimulus package, the larger it feels like the package has to be. Uh, at That's, the very least, people have been accruing interest on their on their stimuli. Yeah, I think everybody gets a Bilo family mug. Um, let's see. Oh boy! And they can get it. We'll give them a. Um, they can. We'll we'll do two mugs. They can have a frightening Frankie Strikes Again mug. That's a picture of me when I was ten. Let me... Frightening Frankie Strikes Again. All right. I'm gonna find. I'm, I'm gonna to find this pick. I think it's in my. Um, I don't know how to search here on Facebook. All right, what are we going through? Let's keep going. <laughs> this right. is what we're doing now, right. so we might as well keep going. I suppose that's. I suppose that's correct. Um, uh, other things. Let's see. Uh, we can talk about the origins of different things in my kitchen. Here are these are Martha Stewart knives. This was like one of the things that my mom. Uh, this this knife block. Uh, is something that my mom really thought I should have when I when I moved to LA. So this is this is the the they're not like great knives, but they're they they do the trick. They chop. Um, <laughs> oh, here's the what else we got? Corner this is actually there we go. Broadcast. I don't know if people I don't know if people can see this. This is this is maybe. Uh, oh yeah, I uh, saw that when I was at your when I was at your house yes. on Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. This is the, what this is, is that? This is a Kyoto. This is a Kyoto cold brewer. And we're unboxing my house. Uh, it's a Kyoto cold brewer, um, which basically it, you put cold water up here, red right, coffee grounds in here, and then it drips down through this guy. Yeah, ye old um, barmaid. Welcome, the, uh, welcome to the channel. We were supposed to be doing a show about an Australian murder mystery, but Bilo was late, so now we're um, going through <laughs> his house. Uh, as some sort of interesting punishment, <laughs> ends up being a reward. It is. Um, Dark Matters fan it's... asking to see the bookshelf. The bookshelf. Uh, well, yeah, we'll get through the bookshelf in good time. I'll, I'll, I'll finish. I'll try to finish the kitchen. All right. Well, wow, Bilo is really into this. These are the Bruno. Bruno busted his ass and got. Uh, he hurt his back. 
so he's here. His, his this is Gabba Penton because his his back hurts. Oh yeah, my dog has Gabba Penton also right now. That were Gabba Penton twins, and this is yeah. this is a pomelo from uh, from a backyard. I think it's. We were looking up how to pronounce it because I gave it to Oscar. I guess the yeah. British pronunciation is pomelo, and the American pronunciation is pomelo. Interesting. But the, I feel like pomelo sounds like a British pronunciation. Pomelo. Bring me a pomelo does, from does the tree. Pretty. Darling, will you bring <laughs> me a pomelo from the tree? Uh, Ice cream yeah, cone asking you to uh, cut open. Let's cut it open. Let's let's take a bite. Let's, let's cut open taste the test. pomelo, yeah. Let's I don't, I, so, uh, this is something, this is something that, like, people, <laughs> maybe not so many people know about me, but I don't like fruit. Um, uh, I don't like most fruit. Yeah. Um, and, uh, that's like all I eat these days is, is fruit. I literally ate like a Costco bag of oranges in two days. All right. What do we, what do we got here? All right. We got a pomelo. We probably do need a discord yield barmaid. We probably do. Here we go, we're cutting into citrus fruit. You thought you were coming here for murder, but instead you're getting a citrus fruit. Look at that. Yep. Thick thick rind. It smells good. I don't I don't much like the taste, but it smells great. Yeah, Oscar got one when we were there on Tuesday and he ate he ate his pieces. It looks pretty yeah. good. I, I like it. It's like a slightly less astringent grapefruit. Yeah, yeah, it's a little sweeter, and it's like, um, it's sort of, it has like stronger cells, I guess. Like it's harder, it's hard to juice because the it's a little tougher. the cells in this are like a little bit tighter or something like that. Um, but it is, you know, it's a fruit. It's a good fruit. We grow. We have a, yeah, we have a tree in the backyard that produces a lot of these. Yeah. Well, we'll get there. Lot. We'll get there later, I guess. We're we're. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad this show about Australia. Oh, I should uh, see if we have any phone calls. It involves me walking around my house. I'm so riveted, Bilo, that I didn't even notice that we have a phone call. We have a phone call. Yeah, well, we do. Please, let's please pick it up. Dark matters. This is dark matters. Oh, uh, hey, I, I just wanted to uh, go ahead and uh, reiterate the fact that I don't even host this show, and I went out of my way to listen to it in a gas station last week, and you were in the car hosting the show? What the fuck, Michael? The fuck is going on? I, 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 I agree. I, I think it's, I, I, I agree that it's wrong. I do apologize. I thought I had, I, when I left at 7 o'clock, I figured I had budgeted enough uh i figured i had an hour of buffer but uh that that hour was eaten up by it be being about i assumed it was like five minutes away it was 20 minutes away and then uh time, that times two plus waiting for 45 minutes was eight eight into the buffer that i thought that i, I had. i'm gonna go ahead and say i immediately regret asking <laughs> bilo we yeah. could we could, we can't, we could make this a bathtub show. Sarah Walker 84 said bathtub show. That uh, is possible. I don't have a bathtub. You don't have a bathtub? No, I don't have a bathtub. I have two, I have two, two showers, showers? No bathtub. Wow. Half baths. Ooh. Is that, is that what makes Wait, a half you don't bath? Yeah, to... a bathtub makes a full bath. A three quarters bath is a shower. I guess that's a three quarters bath. Right, I think oh, I think the that, quarters are what shower, sink, tub. Yeah, I don't know. That's can, it. can I Those ask the uh, Michael? Um, can Can I ask what you're using to block your nudity when you're showering? Like, is well, it I'm a block or is it like nudity? one? Yeah, like if someone was to be like filming a, a like opening credit sequence where you oh, were in the shower. Yeah, I would much rather uh, pixelate rather than black bars. <laughs> I think. Okay. Cool. 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 That I think that that answers uh, what I'm after. Yes. 
All right, let's keep the tour. Let's keep the tour moving. People like keep this. The tour all right, we're 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 heading out. Yeah. We're heading out of the keep kitchen. Going. The problem, the reason why I couldn't fix my hot tub this week is because I was working. Because <laughs> my power to my hot tub is tied to my office, and I've been working every I've been working every day this week, so I can't. Um, can't lose I can't power. Can't lose power to my office <laughs> because I was. I'm really regretting uh, not spending two grand to. Uh, run a power line separately all right we've lost bilo no no I'm here, back. He I'm here. here he is all right sarah walker 84 <laughs> the, the horny crew wants to uh see sam they want to see their competition <laughs> they're saying <laughs> uh i i doubt she'll i doubt she'll want to appear uh but you know we can we'll, we'll uh, we, we can check we can check in the chat uh uh, if she's if she's interested, or I'll, uh, she can text me uh, if right. she if she wants to appear. But I I, I doubt that's the case. All right, um, I see the bookcase the, here. This is the bookcase. Um, Should we give away got... one of the books from your bookcase? <laughs> yeah. Anybody wants? That, I've got. Yeah. Anybody wants a book off this bookcase? You you let me know. Um, we've got. I don't know. Got a lot of stuff. A lot of comic books. A lot of comic yeah. books. Yeah. I see uh, the joy of cooking over there. Joy of cooking. Yeah. This is the the cookbook cookbook shelf and the and the lower cookbook shelf um now show everybody the shims at the bottom of the shelf yes <laughs> um uh really what i should show people is the is the is the hazard of this which is i don't know if people can i don't know if this is like really visible um can you see the angle of the bookcase you gotta move to your wall? move your phone to the side a little bit there you go yeah i, I don't know if people can see the angle of the bookcase to the wall, but the bookcase angles forward and the wall angles back. Um, this bookcase is not, is not well. This bookcase is a danger basically. Yeah. Is it secure to the wall? You have a, a, a bracket no. securing it? No. Uh, that's bad. I it is bad. Uh, I haven't figured out how to, how to install that. You, uh, screw, you just screw it into the stud. Yeah, but the problem is that the distance, the top is so is so large that um, uh, the distance the top is so large that like it, either it you end up having to lean the bookcase back so the bottom doesn't touch, or like you need a bigger uh, you need a bigger. Oh, uh, I got you, bro. I know, I know yeah. exactly what you. I'll, I'll, so I so yeah, we can take a look at the bottom and see and see see if I can indicate with my foot. So these are these are shims, which are like little inclines that keep the bookcase leaning back. Got yeah, got copies of, of a lot of uh, Allison Bechdel stuff. I don't know, whatever people want. Brubaker and Phillips, I got that. A lot of lot of their stuff. People are. Uh, I want to know if you have Infinite Jest in there. I do not have Infinite Jest. I think I might have it somewhere in in a, in a box somewhere. No. Um, I think I've read almost everything on the planet on my shelf. Um, I do. I, I can give people a copy of a very, a very, very bad book written by my friend. Um, oh, <laughs> please tell. Wait, what do you mean? I want to. I want to see a bad book written by your friend. Um. So. So my. What's nice is my friend wrote this under a pen name, which means I can. I can. I can pull it out. Um, but this this North is a this Pole is a, Incorporated, North Pole North Pole Inc. Um, oh, I, sorry, I Inc. cannot re I cannot recommend that you purchase it because it is it, the copy editing on it is is very limited. Um, and to say nothing of the of like the content, which is which is wow. pretty wacky. I hope your friend's not watching right now. He's not, um, and I love him dearly. But this is not a good book. Wow. Um, Let's call him. What's his number? Let's not do that. <laughs> well, you can stream. You can trash this book on stream, but you can't call. Yes, it. I can. Uh, people in the chat, ice cream cone talking about Deal and Meal. Oh man, my mom had Deal and Meal was Richard Simmons diet program, where it was it was based on uh, playing cards, where you you had basically like a giant billfold wallet, kind of like what you used to pay with a credit card at a restaurant. And you'd have a certain number of playing cards for each type of food, um, and you would move them from one side of the wallet to the other. Philo has gone. Miss this portion of the show brought to you by Skype. 
Skype, the only thing that works with my broadcasting software. Um, so when I was like 11, my mom was like a weight Nazi. She had me on deal a meal. Of course, people talking about last week when uh, Deb Jones actually put Jodie Foster on the line, and I, I asked her if she liked having her butt licked, which was a reference to something that we were talking about earlier. It wasn't like I just said that off the top of my head, but still. Wow, we've lost Bilo here. Hard to know what's happening with him. Has the bookshelf fallen on him? <sighs> no, you, you, you didn't lose me. I just, I just really desperately had to pee. Um, oh, and you I couldn't? Was, I was really? Scared. Yes. I think we all would have enjoyed that. Yeah, uh, I feel like. Also, uh, can't you like just say, team. "Hey, I'm gonna hey, hold on a second or something"? So I, don't... I suppose. I suppose. Uh, yes, I probably should have said that. Oh my god. Here's here's some here's some more. Some what more color fun. was what color was it? It was yellow. Why did it was I ask? yellowish? Okay. It was yellowish in Why color. Why did I ask that? Yeah, I don't know. What color was the soap that you used to wash your hands? It was clear. It was Mrs. It was Mrs. Meyer's, uh, I think, lemon honeysuckle soap because that was the only kind that you could get. Dark Matters fan is asking when is the Frankie House tour. My house is surprisingly clean right now, so we could we could do it if we run out of time. What is that? This is a uh, this is a Gaudi uh, handle. I don't know if you can you can sort of see it, but it's like it looks like a, of, it looks like a device. Uh, a, it does look like a device. A for rectal sure, for yeah sure. butt plug. Thank you, brother Wax. Yes, it does. It does look like a. A device. It um, looks. Are you sh wait? So what are you calling that? It, are we? Is that just what they called butt plugs in the early twentieth century? No, it's a it's a handle. It's a it's a door handle by a. a <laughs> Who a, told you that was a door handle? <laughs> by a, a Catalan <laughs> architect, Catalan modernist architect named yeah, Anthony Gaudi. Yeah, I was having fun with that door. Let me tell you. And uh, trying to install these, trying to install these door handles. Yeah, I would want to install. Are you going to install them? What are you going to install them in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> no, in the bathroom. In the bathroom? Yeah, that's good because that way you can clean the floor more easily. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's yeah. Let's take. A where are we go? Where are we uh, going now? We're going. So uh, we're in the hall now. I'll see if I can get get a little bit more light in here. Here's here's the the console table, the floating look console at that. table. It is floating. Very very proud of let's this. Let's look at that shoe rack, Bilo. Yeah, let's take a look at the shoe rack. <laughs> oh wow. Most of yeah, I've got quite a few pairs of shoes. I'm a uh, I'm a big uh, I like shoes. Yeah. This is this is Dark Matters Cribs. People are asking you what your shoe size is. My shoe size is 10. 10? Yeah. De you know, depends on the brand, obviously, but 10 is, is always a pretty All good right. guess. Um, yeah. Hunty asked uh, if you I have Air, Air Jordans, which is a pretty ironic question. Uh, I do. Question. Uh, I do not. I do not have. Uh, I do not have uh, any any Jordans. I have three pairs of of like different different converse but i have no i have no nikes <sighs> hey by the way remember, right. remember two weeks ago when some stranger in the chat said that i was low-key hot <laughs> i do remember that thank you uh how could i how could i forget all right we're we're entering uh let's let's take a oh yeah we're, we're in the hall hall now uh these lights on uh, this is the this is the upstairs bathroom. It's okay. got a pocket door. Love those pocket doors. Uh, they are actually terrible. Uh, I hate I hate this door. Well, you it's know, really hard. It's basically it's very easy to lock yourself in this. Uh, it's very easy to lock yourself in this bathroom if you close it all the way because there's just yeah. no leverage to to push it open. This this door is surprisingly heavy. Oh. Uh, if you have to pull it open with like the tips of your fingers, it's not easy. Oh. Well, shouldn't it have like a little handle on there? Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, 
so I'm gonna shut the door. I'm now in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. wait, what's All right, up? I like what's this. up in there? Um, and now here's the door. Like, there's nowhere to the. Here's where I would grip, but it's just there's no. Like you've gotta. Oh really yeah, it's just, it's just it's not in the track. It's not in the track right. Yeah. Brother right. Wax, uh, people are asking uh, if you can identify all the places uh, you and Sam have made love in the house. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, uh, no, I, I think uh, I think we have we have a, a, a number of a number of people who would be uh, yeah who, who are who would rather not hear uh, that answer. Hey, so, look, we yeah. gotta have some baby bylaws, right? Uh, we do. We When's do. that happening? I don't know. I mean, hopefully we we are you know we've got our, our wedding planned for for November of uh, of this year. Well, so I've already been to your wedding. You haven't? Oh yeah, your your wedding wedding. Yes, one with you know more, more than people. more than ten people. Do I do um, I do I get to give us another speech? Of course. Nice. That's all I care about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you get to you get to give another speech. We got we got other people along for the along for the ride. Um, hopefully, my mom will keep her speech to under fifteen minutes this time. Deb Deb Jones uh, is asking to make a speech. I think that that can happen. Deb right? Jones is asking to make a speech. Yeah. Uh, I would. I mean, I'd, I'd love. I'd love for a Deb Jones speech. Wow. Um, we're right. entering into into my office slash the uh, the Dark Matters Studio. The uh, or you know, dark, the Dark oh, Matters wow. Studio uh, West. Yeah, Dark Matters West. Yeah. DMW. Uh, DMW. Let's see. Um, this is this is my my favorite piece of furniture in the house. It's a it's a double. It's, a, it's an armoire. It's an armoire. This is this is. Uh, I guess it has one of my suit jackets, and um, some of some of Sam's clothes. Oh, I see. Yeah, not not so so much going on in here. I just think it's very cool. Um, Let's see. This is my this is my desk. There's Frankie's. Uh, Frankie's. This is the mic that I I generally use to do dark matters. I usually am talking into this guy. Not all the time, but you know, most of the time. Um, this this here, this guy right here. Oh, it's Mariachi Mike. Mariachi Mike. Yeah. That's uh. We've been together for a long time. It's, yeah. I got him. This was a gift I, my, for my thirtieth birthday. Your thirtieth birthday. That's right. I, I just yeah. was first. I was in a party store. I think getting something else, and I saw that I just randomly shopping for something else, or maybe yeah. getting party supplies for your birthday. And then we just found this pinata that looks exactly like you. The the hair, the hair in the back, the resemblance in the, the of the hair in the back is really shocking. Um, yeah. He just it sort of has these these natural curls that, uh, um, that people know, are asking if this is cultural appropriation. I mean, I I mean this is a mar it's a mariachi and it looks like you, so we call it mariachi, Mike. I don't I don't believe that that's uh, yeah cultural uh, appropriation, is it, but is it appropriation? I don't know. Um, I, I like he is uh, wearing I, the costume of a mariachi. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Is it like? I, I don't necessarily think it's like appropriation. I think it's maybe like closer, closer to like what you might call digital brown face or like where I am. Uh, but like, I'm not really pretending to be Latino or no, like, it I, does look like, like I mean, it does look like, like you. J Flash uh, 10 saying there are Mexican Jews. So that pinata might be Jewish. So uh, it could be, could be. He's very, yeah. I mean, yeah. This is like this is also you know he's a mariachi but he's like Norteño right he's like he's got the Norteño outfit not just like he's a very specific uh, like Guadalajara type oh my oh, god that's, that's beyond my uh, realm of knowledge where are we looking at now uh, well I, I because I'm on my phone I just noticed that we got an email from the Tooth Man we did um, yes you get wait you get dark matters how do you get dark matters notifications on your phone I have the Gmail app and so I so do the I but I'm not email. On my phone, and I can it wait. You can log in. To, this is very important. You can log into two Gmails from the same app. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. I always have to log into it's it separately. It's called Add Account. There's a thing that's called Add Account. Oh, well, let's keep up with this tour. Yeah. Um. This uh, this is my old bed. 
This is my. This is the bed. This is actually used to be my friend Ben Jacobs' bed. It was like his childhood bed. What room are we in right now, Bilo? This this is the same. This is still the dark matter. Is this still my office slash the dark matter is a production studio? Um, This is my. This is uh, my bed at my old place slash my friend Ben Jacobs' bed from his childhood. So So this is this is where Ben Ben Jacobs has had a lot of fun in there. Is what you're saying? uh, One imagines. One imagines. Okay, moving into moving into new room, new room. Um, this is this is uh, Sam's office slash Bruno's uh, slash Bruno's room. So here's here's Bruno's crate. This is where Bruno sleeps. I don't know. I don't know if Bruno's ever really been on. He, Bruno was on our pet psychic uh, episode uh, a long time ago. But this is Bruno's crate where he sleeps. Yeah. Um, this is a. I bought Bruno because Bruno hurt himself. I got this. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a ramp for Bruno to get up onto the uh, onto this uh, this uh, like couch slash daybed. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then this is this is you know Sam's Sam's workspace. Nice. nice um, monitor. Yeah, and we keep uh, this is you know uh, some storage space. Uh, what what do we got in here? We've got the uh, got the the vacuum cleaner the stick vacuum it's great got gloomhaven which you know we tried playing and then decided wasn't fun gloomhaven you don't know what gloomhaven is uh no i do not know what gloomhaven Gloomhaven is is like the number one like the quote-unquote number one best board game of all time what it it's this like but it's very long it takes there are like a hundred quests in this game and uh, it takes a really long time to, to play them all through. So, uh, yeah, it's like, quote unquote, the best board game of all time. Um, but it's like, it takes a long time to play. It, it's just, it's a huge investment of time. And it's like, and the rules are, the learning curve is very steep. No, thanks. Yeah. Um, cool. Cool. That's the upstairs. All right. I've, I've opened the, the tooth man's email. Let's finish the house yeah. tour, though. Okay. <laughs> we can do these. We can do the Summerton man. All right. Time. Here we go. All right. We've we've reached the outside of uh, right. the outside of my house. I I actually just purchased. I just purchased these. Oh wait. Uh, will this turn on? There we go. All right. Cool. Uh, I got a a motion detecting lamp. I've, I've purchased a bunch of these, so it's easier to walk around my property at night. Um, uh, let's just start here. Here's a my neighbor uh, has bougainvilleas that grow over the fence, and they're beautiful. Oh yes, yeah, so our neighbor does the same thing. Yeah, I love it. Um, and this, let's see if I can. This is reasonable to see, but this is our uh, this is our our pomelo tree, and let's see yeah. if I can just get get some good. So here are some of the the small unripe pomelos. Yeah. Now are those gonna get bigger? They're gonna get way bigger. They've already gotten like these have already you know doubled in radius just over this week. Um, they're they're gonna be you know they're gonna be big. Um, I don't know how many of I mean, just there's hundreds of them growing here. Um, so, the oh, the horny crew actually. are asking if you'll put on one of your wife's outfits, which I'm also uh, in support of. Um, you have a, can you yeah, get us a I'm, big, I'm a nice, big, to... juicy one that we can eat? Uh, let's see. I can get yeah. There are only a couple of ripe ones left on the left on the tree. We should do a drag episode of this show. We should get we should get like I mean, LA has oh, so man. many great drag queens too. I Absolutely, who we could get on. Ah oh, shit! They could um, do a t- tutorial. I would I would do the show in drag. Um, I I also would do. Did the show you ever, drag. when you were a teenager, have um, girls try to humiliate you by um, putting makeup on you? you? Did sorry, say that again. Did you when you when you were a teenager, did uh, teenage girls try to get you to put on their makeup to like make fun of you? Mm, no, I don't think that was a thing that. that happened, I don't think that was a thing that teenage girls did to me. That happened to me. This basket is actually a great place for a. 
for uh, motion detecting lamp. All right, let's see. Ah! Oh, you okay right. there? This is my this is my stick that I use to get roots off the tree with. All right, and there's a good one. <laughs> Why? This is like reality TV. No, it's not. It's like it's like real life. Yeah. You know, it's it's like drama. Or do we this have is there? what this is what gets us, you know, this is what what allows us to travel through this veil of tears. All right, here we are. You you are the, sort of like a low energy Hulehauser. I agree with Brother Wags there. <laughs> Fuck whoever said that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Brother Wags said this is the worst Hulehauser ever. I called you a low energy Hulehauser. Ah, well, that's that's. I mean, that's obviously true. There we go. This is a uh, here's a, another yeah. another nice nice fresh pomelo or pomelo. I don't know how I, how I'm supposed to pronounce it. But... Oh, it smells great. I'm hungry. I ate like all the. I've been eating mostly just fruit, and I've been back on my vegan diet. I've been eating mostly just fruit and beans. Been farting a lot. But yeah, I, I, I lost like three pounds this week. That's, I mean, that's a lot of, that's a lot of weight to lose yeah. in a in a week. It's good. Are you? How do you feel? Do you just feel I feel great? Hungry all the time? No, I feel great. Really? You know, like when you go to a party and some stupid like vegan person just talks to you about how great it is to be vegan all the time. Yeah, uh, sure. It's like yeah. I kind of understand why. <laughs> feel good. Like I just go out in the morning. I like feel better. It's weird. Are you, what is, what is your, your exercise routine? If it, none, do, or I, do you have one? Zero. I don't, I walk. But I can't, I mean, this is boring, but I can't exercise cause I can't, uh, I can't like lift weights cause I can't increase the pressure in my head or whatever. Uh huh. Cause of my rare ear disease. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, where are America we now, loves. Milo? We're back. We're back in my. Uh, we're back upstairs. We're in the. Let's, we're in the studio. Let's go downstairs. Downstairs, there's only there's only one room where, uh, where, uh, if if my wife is uh is is okay with it, I'll 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 go down there. But if she's not, I will uh uh I'll I'll. Have her let me know if she's okay with me coming down there, um, but she is. She's down there with with our dog, uh, cuddling. People think in, that she's. People cuddling. in the chat have been saying that they think she's fake. They think she's what? You, they think that uh, Sam and Bruno are fake. Are fake? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's what they're that, saying. Well, I, I'm so I'm so goaded by that. I'm so deeply goaded by that. I think that. that's the I think that's the idea. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's, uh, it, it really, you know, for everybody, for everybody who says that, I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, uh, you know, I am desperate for your approval, but not really in the, in the question of like, am I married and do I have a dog? Yeah. Those ones, those asking, ones I'm pretty good on, I'm what, pretty good on myself. Asking what happens if I increase the pressure in my head? It makes, it makes all of my, uh, symptoms worse with my ear. Is the basic way to put it. Oh, we're we're gonna do an episode about that. Is that is that interesting to do an episode on though? It My is. Ear if disease. We can, you know, if we can like make something horrible happen to you. I want. Um, well, I wanted to do. I wanted to do a uh, like a live stream of my uh, surgery or something. Brother Webb yeah. saying not everything is content. I agree. Oh, Morgan, what what Wiz World? Bring up Morgulons. I love Morgulons. Like one of my favorite things to uh, read about and talk about. Oh shit! I haven't been checking the calls. Uh, look at this, Milo. I'm so enthralled. We have a call. Jeez. Oh, it's well, Hunt. Nice. It's Hunter though. Ah, well, that's <laughs> less interesting. Uh, well, we've got the Tooth Man. Are you? And you're in your studio now? Because we've got the Tooth Man here. 
I am in my studio, yes. Let me see if I can bring up this. Wait, I gotta switch to the other. Oh, Boom. Whoa, it, whoa, it's already there. That was cool. I didn't do that on purpose. But we've got to... How do I do this? Oh, was... All right, you got to scooch or whatever. Cause I... Oh, shit. Look at it. Here it is. Here's the email from the tooth man. If I zoom in, does it make it bigger? Oh, it sure does. There we go. Here. Well, Hunter's been waiting for six minutes. Oh, come on. Dark Matters. This is Dark Matters. I was trying to call from inside the house when you were outside and it was all creepy like that yeah. <laughs> prank you was too enthralled. I was too I was too enthralled by my own, by by uh Philo's reality show. Okay, so here's the message. So here's the original Portuguese I'm message excited. in the secure email system from the Tooth Man. The if tooth you're just man. tuning in the Tooth Man Philo, you gotta like shift because uh yeah i will shift hold on i'm gonna make you smaller here we go um here we go and then you just gotta shift to your right the tooth man has been emailing us since well let me scroll down september september, september 8th 2020 is the first email that we got from the tooth man i can't even click through them the tooth man is a man woman or creature who has been emailing us since uh last september mostly in portuguese with uh through this anonymous email service um called tuta nota that you need you need to have a special password to access um and every so often you can see the last time they emailed was april 10th and before that was the third and before that was january 24th so sporadically We'll get emails from them in Portuguese. And this one, again, you'll see here, has some binary code at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, which the tooth man also likes to send us, which we, we will encode in a second. But let's read. Bilo, do you want to read this? Sure, yeah. I am happy to read. Let's see. Uh, Michael and Frankie, though my message tonight is harsh, it is delivered only with love. <laughs> My presence tonight is more than a crowd pleaser. Where is the hot tub? Where is the Australian killer? Michael must make the tea he shows us. Bathe or be a coward. Show us Sam. The crew that is horny must see their opponent. Michael's house is beautiful and his life is valid. But so is his audience. God damn. Wow. Tough love from, from TM. God damn. Wow. Uh, you know, I, I, got, I gotta say I I haven't been invited to your home yet, and as a member of your life and your audience, I'm I'm feeling it, you motherfucker. Wow, uh, you're no, you're you're right. I should uh, I I do want uh, I am now like open to having a, open to having people at my house. I know uh, with a with a strong preference on people who are fully vaccinated, just uh, just you know because. But uh, I know I know uh, Hunter, you've been vaccinated for for a while now. Yeah. Um, uh, so. No, I'm uh, I'm I'm very glad to have seen you the other week as well. But uh, yes. no, I I understand what the tooth man is saying in, uh, but both as your friend and as your audience. All right, so here's a binary code oh, that this. the tooth man sent. Oh and no! I'm trying to convert it, but it's not. I'm not getting it. I'm only getting a symbol. Um, it it's got to be like we need to put spaces in. Uh, after every eight numbers. Oh, I don't want to do that. That sounds like yeah. work. How do you it do that? It does sound like work. Um, uh, here, you can uh, send it to... Drop it in the chat, and then I will put spaces in. It's a lot. Uh, yeah, but I'm just going to write a computer program that's going to do that instead okay. of... There's a character limit of 500. Okay, Brother Wags asking us to read this again. Michael and Frankie, though my message tonight is harsh, it is delivered only with love. My presence tonight is little more than a crowd pleaser. Where is the hot tub? Where is the Australian killer? Michael must make the tea he shows us. Bathe or be a coward. Show us Sam. The crew that is horny must see their opponent. Michael's house is beautiful and his life is valid. But so is his audience. That is a... A tells us that the tooth man watched tonight's show. So once again... 
you want to take some screenshots of the chat. We, we the, ch the chat's pretty big tonight. Uh, yeah, I I don't recognize some of these people. Yeah, well, if if you're coming to, to the show for the first time, welcome. You can give us a call eight one eight six five zero. Dark. Dark. This is Dark Matters. I yeah, I guess I could have said that in a nicer way to people who are watching the show for the first time. No, well, no. Let the let it out is what I gotta say about that. Wait, what? Okay, here we go. All right, so what? I gotta send you this binary code. Uh, though. no, no. I'm just go. I, I've got it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Well, I'm you. going into the mailbox right now, and then I'm gonna go pull out the pull out the binary code, and right. uh, I will put spaces in myself. Oh my god. Oh, uh, at the bottom, because it changes every time, it says sent in inebriation. Oh, yeah, let me read that. It says sent in, sorry, sent with crankiness, exhaustion, and inebriation. So I guess the um, tooth man is drunk tonight. <laughs> uh, All right, hunty, we'll, ta we'll talk to you in like 10 minutes. Uh, mother of Groblin requesting to see how the coffee infuser works. Oh man, I would love to. I would love to show that off. It's like my favorite thing in the house. But I, I I'm gonna do this translation first. Okay. Um, eight one eight six five zero three two seven five is the number to call. We are translating the Toothman's binary code. You know, I really miss um, Rich Devletian, our musician. I know he's been busy. Yeah. He's been work doing some more concerts with... Um, Rage Against the Machine? No, DMC, maybe. Run DMC, right. Yeah, Run DMC, our musician, Rich Devletian, who composed the music that we play here, who uh, sometimes appears live with us. Oh my god, this is a long, I know, it's long a, it's thing. a long code. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wow, second. okay, in the chat, Brother Wags and Wizworld Live pointing the finger at Chess Devil as the Tooth Man. You know, the Tooth Man did say he was inebriated, which, um, Chess Devil is known to be inebriated. God, how would you feel, Bilo, if we found out who the Tooth Man was? Would you feel relieved? I, I kind of don't want to know. Um... I, I don't I think that there may be like tooth men you know I think that's I think that's certainly possible um uh, yeah I don't yeah, I, I don't want to know I do want to know but I uh, I do and I, I don't be... like now yeah. longtime listeners of the show know that I'm a big um, follower of the zodiac oh, case yeah. there have been some rumblings rumblings in the uh, zodiac circles over the last few weeks that the police might be closing in on a suspect and solving the case um uh, what do you want the zodiac killer to be to be found yes yeah definitely i want to know okay. i want to know if i was i want to know if i would have been able to catch him if it would have ever been possible all right i got the i got the code okay i got the code Jesus Christ, this is long. Is it? Is it? What are, what are we looking at here? Uh, I don't. Honestly, I don't even know. Have you translated? I don't it? even know. If I, no. Uh, what's the what's the website to translate it? Binary. Uh, just Google, dude. Uh, I'm uh, asking if Frankie's a murderino. I, I'm referring to uh, fans of my favorite murder. Uh, you know, Karen Kilgara from that show was on our show a few years ago. It's like our most downloaded episode of our show. It's true. Because I just put her name like eight times in the description. <laughs> when we talked to, and I, th I believe we were talking about the Golden State Killer before he was caught. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. Crazy. She talked about Sherry Papini. Oh, is that what she was talking about? Yeah, that's Sherry right. Papini, Sherry who, Papini, who faked oh, her own, who yeah. faked her own murder. 
Um, all right, let's see. Uh, maybe I'll send this to you. Uh, actually, uh, this is sucky. Uh, um, Sherry Pippini gonna... obviously didn't fake her own murder by the but she's still alive. Well, she did. She fake faked her, her own murder. disappearance. That's why she. Uh, she faked her own disappearance. Fair. But, you know, she wanted people to think she was murdered. <laughs> Somebody killed me. <laughs> Mr. Police. Mr. Police. When are we going to do an in person show, Bilo? Um, anytime. I'm ready. Um, Let's do it. Well, we got to do this. We got to get this stupid fucking hot tub working. I worked all day. T I worked today until like 8 p.m. Okay, I just sent the the broken out numbers, the the numbers with spaces to the Dark Matter Gmail. Okay. Wait, you couldn't just Google binary code? I could, but you're you have the. Oh screen yeah, yeah. Okay, fair. Shared. Enough. Sorry, I'm, that was jerky. Oh my god, this is long. Yeah, long. I... <laughs> Ah, oh. I can't even. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to copy it. Code ASCII. Well, it doesn't. It just comes up as a bunch of gobbledygook. Really? ASCII Unicode. Oh, here. Let me switch back here. Frames on the right. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh no, this is stuff that this is just copying stuff from my Gmail. Yeah, this is what oh now let's try it. ASCII pick. Is it maybe the code from a picture? Oh shit. If it is then uh it's possible. It's definitely like very long. Could I put this? Can we put this? Can we save this as like a file? Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, I hope it's a picture of a tooth. Cause it just says "O oh, pick" at the top. Okay. Uh, no, thank you. This is fun. Oh, file is tiny. Let's see. How do I convert? Whoa, looks like there's a fight going on. Oh, cool. The... All right, let's try this. There's a fight going on in the chat here. We could do an in-person show in my hot tub. There's room for a small audience. <laughs> okay. Base 64. Wizard World Live saying maybe it's base 64 transcode from binary to base 64. Ugh, this is this is shit. The f I don't know what base sixty four. Whoa, I am trying that. I googled that. No, so the text when you knew that the text on the right here. So I've tried that. It's just a bunch of gibbledy gock. Whatever. I don't really know what base sixty four is. Wow, binary, I got some hot binary. fire coming here from. Sarah Walker, 84. The Stimulus, Sam, and the Hot Tub Show, what do they all have in common? <laughs> oh, shit. It's not, a, it's not a great feeling, is it? And take that text. It could be an image. But how do I turn that into an image? Page unresponsive. Wow, so this breaks the page. All right. Base 64 to image converter. Let's try it. Preview image, download image, generate image. Let's see if it does anything. Uh, no, it says it's not an image. Image from binary generator. List of binary pixels. Image from binary, convert binary to an image. Maybe we're just doing an extra step here. Wait, what? 
Oh my god. Well, this is not... This is not right. Can the morning crew be our live audience for the hot tub show? Sure. I just need to clear out my little hot tub room. Um, the hot it's an enclosed hot tub room <laughs> so we have to figure that out sure why not if the horny crew is vaccinated feel free to come and be an audience anybody anybody in the chat if you're if you're vaxxed I want to come up with a good rhyme if you're vaxxed yeah you come to the max nice uh, so the so it is one two three is eight like... zero zero what? things long. What? I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm just saying the the number of the number of uh, ones and zeros is too dumb for this. And I'm not d I'm not that dumb. <laughs> I'm just no. too dumb for this. Okay, so it's one fifteen fifteen kilobytes of uh, of data. Um, so let's try 15 kilobytes. I'm going to see if I can factor that number to see how. Is Frankie sanctioning an orgy at his place? No. I mean, if people want to have an, an orgy at my place outdoors on my property, I guess I'm fine with that. <laughs> Why not? Zero. I think the stream stalled for a second there. We should be back. It's yeah. Uh, so uh, it's hard. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell what size this thing is because it's one five four seven five is We've been twenty five times six nineteen. Oh, man. I feel like this is this is tough. It's a tough. This one. is tough. Um, Boom. I tried I tried pasting the the zeros and ones into into this thing, but yeah. or into this uh, online thing, but it just not. Well, this has not spaces in it. This file it has spaces between the well, binary. Well, I, I took the I took the the spaces out, oh, um, yeah. and I tried it. I tried just pasting the zeros and ones into uh, into this thing. Um, which I'll just drop into the chat. It's two, there's 500 character limit. You can't. Uh, uh, I had to fart so bad. All right. Oh. So I tried, I tried using that with just the, the ones and zeros, but it gives you back. This nonsense image. Ooh, are you gonna fall asleep it's... again? I'm not gonna fall asleep. Uh, let's see. Download image.png. Yeah, it's just there's nothing here. Um. Put it in a Google Doc and link the doc in the chat. Good idea. Oh my god, I've been eating so many beans the last week or so. And they make you feel you they, they make, me, they make, they make me, you they make me toot, Milo, they make me toot. They make you toot? They do. You're dead. uh now is your is is Oscar I mean I know uh Oscar has like some some allergies, but is he picky outside of outside of that? Uh, outside of having allergies? Yeah, he's a toddler. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I'm trying to set up this Google Doc. Yeah, of course, he's a, he's a toddler. He's picky. He only eats like 10 things. Really? That's... What, what do you do? What do you do when he's picky? Uh, you... <laughs> try Just uh, try to get him to take a bite of whatever he has, and then if not, you just give oh. him something that he eats so that he can eat. <laughs> yeah the binary in the email is this long okay here's the link to this google doc I swear, we're we're usually very good at solving these yeah okay my 
Um, There's the code there. Could it be? It's there's no factor of three in there, so it's not like I it's three. That... It's three. It's three channels. It's like red, green, and blue. It it should be black and white. Wow! Oh, you got some a, real you, you CSI a shit that you're saying right now. Boom! Uh, Frankie, right. you need to make that. You need to make that uh, link sharing. Uh, uh, what happened? Oh, restricted. There we go. All right, it should be good now. Uh, tooth man. We're never gonna. Should that be the logo for my production company? Just me going, Tooth Man! Tooth. Be funny. People like that. First, I need a TV show on the air. Hunter, Hunter's asking me if I got a dog. Hunter, I've had a dog for, for two years now. Yeah. That, that Factor 3 was obviously some, like, hacking the mainframe shit that you made up, Bilo. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, so it's there's three, no Factor 3, three here, boss. I'm gonna have to enter from a different uh, tunnel. Three because red, green, and blue. Red, green, and blue are are the three colors. So if you had, uh, if there was a factor of three, then you might have a color image. But because it's it's a prime number times twenty five, it's hard to it's hard to say what's going on. Okay. People really don't believe that your dog. People exists. don't believe I have a dog. I have seen your dog. This is this is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. This but is... was that a real dog? I mean, Bruno is such a nice dog, and it does make me wonder: like, is he a real dog? Like, he's so that, calm and well behaved. That, that I think is a is a real is a real question. But um, uh, I mean, here's this is this is about as good as it gets, people. What's that? That's a different dog. Well, it's. The, a different dog and my dog. Yeah, there you go. There's Bruno. Yeah. He's, and he's real cute. Wait. What? Oh, here's my phone. In front of me. God, we're, we fool, we're fooled again. Oh, it was Monday I was at your house. That's a stock, that's a stock photo. Here, this is the dog. This is the dog. All right, on, here I have a on. photo. I have a photo of Oscar and you and the dog. Here we go. You're you, can, to, you can see the dog in the corner there. Prove my own life. Google's pictures of dog. This is this is a heresy. This is heresy. Frankie has a dog. Frankie has a dog who hates me. Yeah, my dog tried to bite Michael's dick off. Right, we got another email. Oh, they're just asking. <laughs> somebody want, Somebody was pointing out the fact that I did not. Brother Wags accusing me of supporting of supporting the January sixth insurrection, and I'm not gonna take a position on that right now because it's 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 below my dignity, you know. Ice cream cone um, pointing out that I do Photoshop photos for a living, sort of. So he's not mm. wrong. Yeah, he's not wrong. All right, here we go. Look at this code. Anybody figure out this code? People people advocating storming the pack theater, um, which at this point means storming the Nothing. digital space. Storing a storage space for other theaters. Yeah. Where's photos? I'm trying to stream this photo. I don't understand. That's weird. Won't let me. If he even exists, this if is ridiculous. If he even exists. This is ridiculous. And the. How do I. This is like, this is like, you know, when we, when we tried to, to get Mrs. Chess Devil on the, uh, uh yeah. on the. Yeah, still not convinced that that wasn't just Chess Devil doing a voice. <laughs> All 
All right, here's the pick. Here's here's the picture. <laughs> Oscar with Michael, and then you can see Bruno. Oh. I may have photoshopped that uh, just a dog head into your groin. Oh. Uh, I miss my boys, the Gutman brothers. The Gutman brothers. Look at how cute they are. So I mean, cute. we only see one here, but you know, he's super cute. Uh, can't believe we've been st we've been stumped. We have we ever been stumped before? I feel like Probably. we've not. Like we've, it's been a long time since we've gotten gotten a clue that we can't decode. I. I'm honestly, I feel like with a with a little bit of time, we can we can solve it. I feel like it's possible. Oh my God! Wait, I just going to show this picture of Reggie <laughs> just because it's very cute. That's all I, this is all I've got now. Yeah. Look at this code. That's Look at this. That's all you need. That's all you need. Is that all I need? Yeah, you're right. Oh my god. Look at this baby. <laughs> Look at Oh my god. Look, Look at, at him. Oh so happy. Number two. Mm. God. I didn't get my snipped yeah L1. is that is that you're you're done you got you got two it's you're enough. good yep it's enough it's enough it's enough i'm surprised deb jones hasn't called in because we did have the we did uh, spot the no debs uh, uh the, the no debs license plate and I, I feel like you know we deserve a we deserve an explanation all right we have a call dark matters this is dark matters I take offense that you do not believe Mrs. Devil is real. Oh wow! <laughs> Just Devil. It, there's a real. There's, a, there's okay. been a lot of accusations of fakeness being being thrown around. You know, and I, I I do believe that Mrs. Mrs. Just Devil is real. I, I, and then I'm also being accused as a tooth man. Yes. Am I inebriated? Yes. Am I irate? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Chest madness. Devil. You started watching the show after the Tooth Man already appeared, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I believe that's correct. So, and then what? What I was really irate about is, is, is Bila, you called a, literally a one-line script, a computer program. You just rejected. <laughs> You're just getting literally. ripped tonight, Bilo. Uh, well, <laughs> Uh, yes, that is that is correct. I, it's a it is a it is a one liner. Uh, it is a one liner. What are Here some What the, are some of your favorite one liners, Philo? One of my one of my favorite uh, one liners. Uh, I'll put it in the chat. We've got another uh, email from the Tooth Man. Here it is. I'm gonna click it. Hope I don't have to enter the password again. Oh, I do. All right, I gotta hold on. I gotta pull this out. So that I don't show the password. There's 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 Michael Bilo's favorite one liner in the in the chat. <laughs> Wizworld Live hitting us up with some basic <laughs> The password for the tooth man has an accent in it that is I don't know how to type on my keyboard, so I always have to find a I have to copy and paste it every time I want to enter it. And this is this is the script. I just dropped the script into the chat for for converting uh, the tooth man's uh, all right here uh, binary into oh uh, man ones I, and zeros. I, I think I gave a better one earlier, especially if you're using Linux. Let me see if I can refine it. What is happening? We're doing a code off right now, by the way. All right. Yeah, all right. I love the it. The tooth man it. has sent another <laughs> email. I think they are correcting us. So this says, "I'm going to try to read it in Portuguese. I don't know why." Voce nao esta perplexo. Tutanota atingi su limite de caracteres. Use o binario na resposta os eight digitos finaisao. Okay. I think this says that we're missing some characters, but let's just translate it. 
You are not stumped. Tutanota has reached his character limit. Use binary in the answer. Oh, the final man. eight digits are this. Okay. We were not stumped. Well, thank you, Tooth Man. All right. We need to add eight digits. That means the Tooth Man has been watching this whole time. Oh, man. Watching us twist. God. Okay. Binary. To t okay. So I'm going to delete this. Paste this. Well, it didn't change anything. Uh, also, let's let's remember that uh, that ice cream cone. Ice cream cone knows uh, knows said, which is a it's a good it's like a good tool. What? It's like if you're if you're a good if you're a sed said. It's a it's a text sort of modification tool. It's you know it's good if you like if you're a computer programmer you should know it. And uh, I am a pr computer programmer and I don't know it. Oh, yeah. I didn't change anything. I figured anything. you were using Linux, so although this says no, pick. I. I read everything in Python um, because I am lame like that. Uh, it says pick at the top here. I don't know if you can Does see it, that. Does it, though? It might be kind I... of small. Does that mean it's a picture? I've added these characters per the Tooth Man's instructions. Is, does, it say, is it, does it say pick or is it like P upside down exclamation point? C? It might. Because I use binary could, and the answer the final not... eight digits are, and then I pasted those onto the thing. Look at the Could email you just, you just got and scroll heck? down. Oh, wait, no. God, I'm dumb. Scroll down. Other duck, you're gonna have to explain. Was that a reply or a brand new email? It's it's it is a reply, but it's a brand. I don't know. It's a brand new email. It's new to us, certainly. Yeah, this is so big. That's what she said. Oh, I've got some whispers. I'm sorry, I'm not seeing these. Oh, sorry, Hunty had called us. God, Toothman really has me frazzled. We've got two calls. We've got another call. Dark Matters. This is Dark Matters. Hello. Hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, hi, Deb. Hey. Yeah, so... Uh... Yeah, I, I know that Philo mentioned uh, in the chat that I had not called in. You know, my, my phone was charging, so so there you have it. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a wild week, uh, as you can tell from the picture that Philo posted earlier today. Uh, yeah, let's um, Philo. Hold on, now I got to pull yeah. that up. I don't have the brain power for this. We're pulling we're pulling in a lot of different directions tonight, and you know that's. I'm, uh, being, I'm, you I'm come being here pulled back directions. and forth, but not not in a not in a good way. Mm. Pilot, can, can you not just convert it to hex, drop it into like Notepad plus plus, and then just turn it like save it as a PNG? Have you tried doing that? Um, I assume PNG has a header, uh, but I don't I don't know. And um. It's... All right, here we go. So this is a license plate that we saw today. People are now saying Deb Jones might be your wife. Deb Jones. Deb Jones is, is not my wife. Deb Jones is happily married to, to Donica for, for many years. Yep. Uh, that that's very true. We haven't had the official ceremony, but you know, I mean, it's like we're married at this point. You know, it's like you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll, we'll actually get married. Uh, you know, around when you and Sam get married. Yeah, I uh, I hope uh, I really wish you two. You know, many many continued years of happiness. So now here's now, the, here's yeah. the license plate here. Yeah. Now I saw this outside of Millie's Cafe in in Silver Lake today. Um, you went to Dad, you went you... to Millie's. I went to Millie's. Yeah. What did you wait like an hour? No, there was no wait. We got oh. in in like five minutes, I think. Um, yeah. Once you got berry pancakes. Uh, no, it was my first time going there because uh, it's always Millie's, crowded. It's always super crowded. Uh, so before I was vaccinated, I had no. They it, even at like the height of the pandemic, Millie's was always uh, full of people. So. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to go there, um, but 
now that I'm fully vaccinated uh, and, you know, two weeks and everything, I, uh, uh, yeah, decided to check it out. And I got uh, a, an Eleanor special, which is uh, over easy eggs on top of potatoes with uh, sour cream, guacamole, and salsa. It's delicious. You know what I ate this week? Tell me. Fruit and beans. <laughs> I ate fruit. What about I, eggs? What's wrong with eggs? Uh, it's an animal product. Can't eat it. Um, I well to not to be a vegan, yes, but yeah. like de- health wise, uh, it's an animal product. Can't eat it. All right. Yep. Deb, turn your radio radio down. <laughs> I I did. Sorry about that. I just I accidentally my finger on the type. I was trying to interact with the chat room and I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Sorry no, about no. that. Now, Deb, I saw this car outside of Millie's Cafe in in Silver Lake, and it had a, a no it had no Deb's license plate. It also had no Deb's on the on the front license plate as well. Can you can you explain this this car? What's what's going on here? Well, I mean, it's it's a quite a coincidence that that was. I mean, you know, I, I think that Jody would be okay with me saying this, but th- that's her car. Uh, I guess she was at Millie's too. Uh, which is just, it's so such a trip that you guys are both there at the same time and you didn't see each other. But yeah, uh, she that that's her car and uh, that's uh, a license plate that's on her car, but it is not her. It was put on the car by, get this, my neighbors that live across the hall from no. me. No. Your neighbors yeah, across the hall cool. installed yeah. license plates on, on Jodie Foster's car. Uh, I mean, without her consent, yes. And and what they did was they took a picture of it and they sent me a screenshot, uh, 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 not a screenshot, but just they sent me the picture that they took and they said, ha ha, ha ha, looks like Jodie Foster isn't your friend and you're not going to work with her anymore. I said, what are you talking about? I looked closer. I realized it was Jodie's car. I was like, what the hell's going on? So I call Jody on the phone, just absolutely livid, screaming at the top of my lungs. You uh, screamed. You, know, you and, screamed at uh, Jody Foster over the phone. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was. I, listen, I'm not saying it was right. I called my sponsor immediately after, and you know, I, I did a lot. I did, I did the fourth step again. I did the fifth step and the sixth step. So you know, listen, I, I know I was in the wrong, but yeah, at the moment I was hot, I was heated, and I, I screamed at her. Uh, and she and she didn't know what was going on because she didn't know the license plate was on the car. And then I put it together that it was just my neighbors fucking with me. <laughs> wow. Because they that's what they do. They 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 make license plates for people, and for some reason, you know, I was just so angry that I wasn't thinking clearly. There was so much cortisol and adrenaline pumping through my veins that, you know. Uh, yeah. Any. Anyways, they they got arrested the other night. And they got arrested. They got arrested. Yeah. Hey, so, Deb so, Jones, uh, chest over yeah. here. Real quick question: Are, are yeah. your neighbors uh, prisoners from like 1910, 1920? Are wait? Are my neighbors uh, come again? Say that again. Are they are they old old uh, old prisoners? As soon as they make license plates, I, wow, bad joke failed. Sorry. Ah, oh, it. got it, got it. I'm sorry. I was, I was a ten steps behind you. Um, yes, <laughs> yeah, they're from the 1910. Yes. Uh, no, I actually, uh, I, I, you know, I saw a picture online of, you know, that we were talking earlier in the chat of people that stormed the Capitol. I would not be surprised if they were there. Uh, it looks uh, very, very close to some to my neighbors and some of the shots. Deb, this, these, these are shocking revelations. These are these are shocking revelations. Are Milo, you, you look uh, very tired. Uh, you know, I, I House of Galbi feeds you a lot of meat, and uh, when you eat a lot of meat, you get tired. Yeah, you sure know about eating a lot of meat. I, I sure do know about eating a lot of meat because I, do, I don't have a vegan diet. Um, I don't. Um, Speaking of eating what if a lot over of time, meat, uh, we're, you know, I'm going to be. Yes, Deb. Oh, we're over time? Oh, I was just going to say that, you know, uh, Jody's throwing a barbecue next week. Uh, if you guys want to go, uh, you're you're more than welcome. Frankie, we can have some vegan options, you know, if that would make you more uh, inclined to accept the invite. 
Um, that would just make me feel awkward that somebody cooked something for me. I'd feel obligated to eat it. So I'd rather just yeah. go there and not eat. <laughs> It's like, oh, oh, hey, oh you know, we made this for you. We polite. made this for you. It's like, oh, now I gotta eat it. My my neighbor is having a graduation <laughs> you know party for his um his son is graduating middle school. My, wow. My neighbor's having a party and he seems like he really wants us to to go. He's like renovating his whole backyard for this party. Is is that the same uh, guy that used to have all the maskless parties? You know it, baby. That's right. Uh, I feel like we have to go. Uh, yeah. I mean. Yeah, a middle school probably, graduation, Sarah Walker eighty four. That's right. A middle school graduation, but there's gonna be there's gonna be a taco. Somebody making there's gonna be a taco person. There's gonna be a bounce house oh for little God. kids. Oh my god. Uh, it's this is like a real So fun. <laughs> uh, so fun. Sarah Walker saying congrats on literally achieving oh, the okay. basics. I kind of agree. But also I don't know. We're Listen, trying to we're trying to build a fence here. We're trying to negotiate building a fence. You know, we gotta live next to these people. I feel like I gotta go. Middle school graduation is uh, yeah, go ahead, Chess Devil, sorry. Uh no, I'm sorry. I, I, well, I was gonna ask, what, what what makes you feel worse, going to a barbecue where someone made something for your uh, your dietary needs, or if you bring something? Oh God, I, I don't know. If I br Ooh. what? Do you, well, if I bring something that I think is legitimately good and nobody eats it, that might be the worst. <laughs> what about you, Deb? What, what what's your opinion? Uh, on what? <laughs> on, uh... That's what... All right, we're gonna we're gonna skip you. We're gonna skip you this question. I don't know why we're so asking sorry. questions. Was, to be honest, I was checking an email. Other Duck is asking to show the Tooth like Man email up. again. I will do that. Hold on. What is this? I was like, who is this lady? And it's it's an ad for Gmail. Okay, here's the Tooth Man email per Other Duck's request. Hold on. I'll make it a little. It fit by can you lean to your right it's this it's yeah. not your fault it's my fault mm -hmm. okay so this is our email from the tooth man our mysterious emailer he said to add these digits to the end which i did it said to use binary can you scroll down yes if this is the end this is the end of the email and then here's the binary code i've reached the the end yeah Tooth, tooth man put different binary is that what other duck is saying okay so this this is the original email oh oh no Bylo's code fucked up because if you look at the first eight uh digits of the binary they're different oh. than what, what Bylo gave you oh <laughs> Oh, uh, that's great. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to copy all this. Okay. Oh, is it? That's not good. Okay, so I'm going to delete all the binary from this Toothman doc. I'm going to paste fresh binary in here. Is it pasting? Here we go. I'm trying to copy. Ah! What just happens? Copy. Paste it into here. Maybe it's just taking a while to paste because it's so many characters. Could be. This page is slowing down Firefox. Do we even really need the spaces to do binary? Um, it seems like they're necessary for that website to like figure out what's going on. Oh, but... okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I just put it in, and it's look, look at the top. This is so I've just recopied it. Not mm -hmm. with spaces or anything. It is a JPEG. And it says data JPEG. Okay. Maybe we just did it. It is wrong. not my fault. It is not my fault. It is I don't know. Wait it a minute. Probably my fault. It says base sixty four. The WizWorld also mentioned base sixty four. You busted. Oh wait, base sixty four image. 
What does that mean? So, um, uh, here's what. What are all these what letters? Should, What's the spell? What you should do? Take, uh, take, open up like Notepad. Okay. Um, do Control Control A. What? Yeah, I know. Just co- what? What am I copying? You're copying the um the ASCII into into Notepad. Okay. Now what? And it's save it as a dot JPEG. See if that that'll actually work. I tried to put the new code in the Google Doc, but it's not letting me paste it. Hold on, let me do it. Okay, here I'm pasting it in right now. If it'll let me. Doesn't like. Okay, what am I doing, Bilo? Uh. Can I just do binary to JPEG? Uh, maybe, we... but I, I don't know what the what the correct like format of of a bin file is. What? Drop the new code plus the final octet in the second email. Yeah. Like the use of the word octet. It's eight 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 bits. It's an octet. All right, there we go. I just put that's in there. <laughs> Hannah Mackay. Maybe the JPG will be a picture of quote unquote Sam. Quote unquote Sam. Wow. Do I have family? We already saw a picture of my family. Okay, wait. So it said binary to base 64. So if I copy all of this and then I do binary to base 64. Then I have text. Now what do I do? Base 64 to image. Paste. Generate image. And it's not working still. (sighs) I'm still too dumb. But this is, okay, it says data image JPEG. So what do I do with this? How do I I see the JPEG? Uh, so you've tried copying just that that like ASCII stuff into the uh, uh, into that base sixty four to image converter. Yes. Oh, so you copied. Wait, look, it's gonna pop up. Right. Oh shit! Whoa! Oh I gotta go. God. I gotta go. What? Wait. It's the devil playing chess, and chess devil just oh, hung up. My God. Is chess devil the tooth man? If chess devil is the tooth man. Oh my god. Is chess devil the tooth man. I don't believe it. I don't chess... believe it. Okay. Other duck saying to Google lens it. Image search. Okay, so I can Google image search it. Was that a confession? I it this is Is the confession is the tooth man trying to throw us off the trail? Check this well, out. I, look at this, look devil... at this, Bilo. So I put this yeah. up. Oh, the stream is, like, a lot delayed from my um, feed. Yeah. So I Google image search the image. Yeah. It doesn't, like, normally when you Google image search, like, this is a famous piece of art, there would be, like, tons of results. Yeah. It only appears, look, here's where it appears when I click on it, on a Uh Brazilian website. (laughs) What? O Código da Bíblia. Genesis the Bible code. Yeah. But it's somebody who looked up who looked up like chess devil in in Portuguese. Well let's try that. Let's see if we can find this image. Here. Let's let's go into Deep L. Let's type in chess devil. English translate into Brazilian oh Portuguese. Are we are we un- unraveling the the whole the whole chess and now devil. I'm gonna reviews. search for the result and I'm gonna click images. Toibles. Oh, it is the Sh- look, Bilo. Yeah, yeah. The first one that comes up. Oh, 
Oh my god. You're right. They s- translated it from English into Portuguese, and this is the first thing that comes up for that. Oh my goodness. I. It's a Pinterest link. I don't know what to say. A chess devil. Chess devil hung chess up de- and is also not up. chatting in the chat right now. Chess devil has disappeared. But chess devil didn't listen to the show when. Oh, we have two calls. Oh, chess devil just called back. All right. Dark matters. This is dark matters. This is a fucking frame job. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, <laughs> this is a frame job. Wow. It, it, it's a frame. Why? I mean. How do we know this isn't just a this is just a confession? This, this isn't is, just this is you, you, Bilo, you could shut your dirty mouth right now. This is not a confession. <laughs> listen. This is a frame job. Listen. If you're the chess devil, you can just say if you're if you are the tooth man and the chess devil, you can just say it, you know? You know, you know, I I am not going to allow the Tooth Man to make me his Oswald here. Uh-huh. I need a uh, Zabruder film to help me, please. Somebody help me. Kate Morgan's ghost accusing other duck in the chat. I think translate the page with the Genesis passage on it, which I've done here. This is a story. Dick Genes- had married his two female cousins, Leia and Rachel. Wait. Glad, glad we took that out. This says Genesis 29.30. Is this, for, this is not, Satan is not in Genesis. Um. Satan is not in the yeah, Old Testament. He's in, he's, in, he's in Job a lot. Um, Satan is in, Satan is in Job. Job uh, is which not is old, the... Which is Job is the Jewish Bible of the Old Testament. Um, let's see. Where does Satan show up? I, I bet he's in Genesis too. Is Satan in Genesis? Oh, yeah. I guess so. Satan shows up 17 times. Uh, in two books, the uh, Job and Zechariah. Somebody asking when is when was the Pinterest posted? Let's find this Pinterest. I don't know how you figure that out. Brother Wegg saying this is such a setup. This is such a setup. This is a pin from somebody named Augusto Andrade. Completely made up name. And this is. Let's translate their profile page. Oh my God. This guy is the most, one of the most terrifying people I've seen on, on Dark Matters. Wow. Okay, this is what this translates to his profile page. Are you missed? Oh, feudal shadow called people. No one is missed. You are missed by no one. Everything will go on without you. Maybe it's worse for others. What the fuck? That's just That's really... creepy. Yeah. If anything, you... we've discovered a really creepy... Wait, is this a video of him? This looks like... Wait, there's this okay. guy in this picture here in the circle. And then I see this video here from YouTube. Desobedencia Civil. Familia. Oh, here's Augusto Andrade's YouTube page. How do I... Hold on, I'm going to try to... Pull in the audio from this. I'm not going to lie. That definitely looks like a clean shaven chest devil. <laughs> oh, no. Chest devil. Can you say definitively? Will you just say it once and for all? You will say you are not. I am under, I am under legal contracts now. I can neither confirm or deny that I am the tooth man. 
Oh, we'll, wow. wait till, we'll wait till the Netflix documentary airs, but I can't confirm or deny it. This is a Glomar. This type of Glomar response is uh, is what wow. keeps people coming back to Dark Matters. Okay, this, it's this the, video. It's the uncertainty. This video is from February 26, 2021. It is 17 okay. views, as Hunty is pointing out here. Familia. Oh, Fahumilia. Olá. Eu sou Augusto Andrade. Hoje eu quero falar sobre a família. Brother, brother Wags is, is is done a uh, tem uma coisa que vem acontecendo já, um, acredito que algumas décadas, é que as pessoas pegaram o um costume de referirem-se a qualquer grupo, né? qualquer ajuntamento, de pessoas as quais elas participem, né, ou até mesmo a, a um grupo que elas apenas se dirijam né, na, nas mídias, no, no rádio, televisão, coisas assim. Referindo-se a essas pessoas como família. E aí. A, a sociedade em geral acredita que isso seja uma forma de demonstrar que ele não tem Ele não tem o que? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. He doesn't have the the the, the lisp or the southern twang, I guess, that I have. Yeah, could you try to speak in Portuguese for us? Uh, I don't want to be canceled. I'm already almost being canceled right now. Should we watch this video? Steve Harvey breaks down after seeing his mama's house. <laughs> no. I don't know what Leonard Skinner Freebird. I guess we don't watch a lot of videos on YouTube. This is what it's trying to serve yeah. us here. You like music, apparently. Pawn Stars. Alice Everybody Cooper loves on his stars. Christian faith. Oh, if you want to watch Steve Harvey breaks down after seeing his mama's house. All right. This unforgettable vacation. No! Oh, ad. I refuse to play the audio for this ad. All right. 58th birthday. I will be celebrating it, God willing, I wake up. So my producers gather, God, uh, put together dark, a show Steve. filled with surprises. Of course, I have no idea what's happening. My first guest, though, is the master of ceremonies for the hour. Dark Matters I'm needs more people of color. Be, be honest, out. it's true. We did have uh, a lot on our live show. show. Please reveal it's a white show. Uh, we, we did. Uh, but the, the online show is uh, uh, All right, wait, I'm going to... Well, we have a lot more surprises for you. Um, Dominique, are you there? Hi, Marjorie, I'm here. I'm Dominique Rex from Woo's. Ch News Channel 5 in Cleveland. I like this guy on the right, look. The <laughs> thin mustache and the... Uh, Do you recognize this street? Class, I like that look. We are here on uh -oh. the block where you Steve, grew up you for a very down? special ceremony. And I'd like to kick it off by introducing his honor, the mayor of Cleveland, Mayor Frank Jackson. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Harvey. How are you doing? Yes, sir. How are you, Mayor? I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I have for Welcome. you today a proclamation, and this proclamation reads the first paragraph on behalf <laughs> of the This girl on the left is just like so I'm cold. I'm honored to offer this proclamation designating January 17, 2015 as Steve Harvey Day in recognition of your 58th birthday and the ceremonial really? Could, rededication wait years. of a portion of East 112th Street as Steve Harvey Way in the city of Cleveland. <laughs> Wait, okay. As you can see, uh, wait, Mr. hold on. He's, cr he's crying because they're naming, family, so they're like naming the street after him. I thought it was going to be because they did something nice to his mom's house or something. They're just I'm naming Steve. a street Happy after birthday. him on his 58th birthday. Crying, <laughs> but we are here because we love you. Love you. All of us oh, are here. Steve's sister. And that's, if mom and dad was here, lower third. dad would be saying, do you know I'm his daddy? <laughs> and Mama would be just shaking her head. So we love you, Steve. 
and you have a very happy birthday. Thank you, Mona. That was so sweet. And Steve, more people want to talk to you. We have Councilman Kevin Conwell. On behalf of the entire Glenville community in the Todd Blood Nation. Now, now, yeah. now everybody, sure everybody from birthday. Cleveland is just trying to get, here, get some airtime here. Yvonne this Conwell, guy. And we're going to introduce the mighty, mighty, mighty Todd Blood cheerleaders for you, Steve. Us? Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't they wait till he was 60? Is Steve Harvey dying? And this is in 2015. Hi, hi, yes, hi you're Turkish. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Is that what happened? I'm not. I'm not familiar. You have to. You have to catch me up. This is after the matters. Oh shit! I lost my connection to Skype. Violet was frozen. I can hear you, Chess Devil, but I think people cannot hear. Okay, now everybody. I've this. I wish I could. How are you, our, our Turkish listener? We're we are good here. My co-host, he's frozen on. He's fallen asleep in real life. I. Will, um, but he's frozen here. Shit, I don't know how to reconnect this. Hold on. What if I... Okay, what if I... Hold on. So you guys, you're 13 years old. All right, well, there is some adult content on this stream, but I'm sure that's going to make you want to um, tune in even more. I don't think that's going to dissuade you. Well, if you've got some minutes, you can call us up at our phone number... It's 818-650-3275, and you can put a plus one for that. Is this going to work? Milo has fallen asleep, but I have no way... I have no way... They can't hear you. I can hear you, but they can't hear you guys. How do I fix this? <laughs> How... Do I fix this? Oh my god, guys, I wish you could see this. Philo has fallen asleep again. The problem is, I, if I hang up on him, I won't be able to reconnect to him because he's asleep. Damn it. All right, hold on. It would make, it would make this watch Philo sleep live. How do I do this? I can just wake him up, I guess. I didn't realize it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, getting a text. Getting some text. Sorry, I'm. Oh my God! Oh, look at this. Now my my friend, my friend Zach just texted me. He, uh, I was in a movie. Um, my friend Dennis made a movie that I'm in, and my friend Zach just sent me a uh. Just sent me a screen grab. There's a lot going on right now. All right, I guess I have to hang up on this version of Bilo. Can I... Is this going to work? Sorry, guys. Technical... You know how it is. It's very... Very touchy. Oh, I think maybe my Skype has frozen. Okay. I don't think... It's just me, guys. Okay. Can I join this call? Will this work now? Will Bilo return? Oh, can I? Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, and Bilo's back. Okay, great. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, and Bilo's back. I'm getting some feedback though. 
Somebody, somebody's got their uh, radio on. Maybe it's Bilo. Here we go. Here's Michael Bilo. He's falling asleep. Okay, I think we can hear you guys now. Tooth Man Hunty, you're on the line here. Yes, this is just the top of Michael Bilo's head. <laughs> hey, fuck off. What? <laughs> what happened? Yo, yo. You know what my oh, favorite awake. part about tonight's show is? I'm awake. My favorite part of tonight's show is that the chess devil can't even keep up the front of pretending he's the tooth man long enough to not laugh at Bilo sleeping. Like, you're breaking character. Bilo, right. you're... We know uh, I, not I'm you. not the tooth man, though. That's, that's the thing. I'm not the tooth man. Oh, oh no! I know you're not capable of tooth manning. Like that's that that's where that's where I know we stand on this. So Wait, if are you the chess devil is the tooth man? It's not the case. Are you telling me I'm I, I, I'm too dumb to be the tooth man? Wow! No, 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 not at all. Um, in fact, uh, that's why I think uh, you're being uh, catfished. Uh, that's not the right word. Um, Framed so, would be uh, the correct word. So, uh, what, what, what? Um, earlier in the show, because what, what, what's the one thing we confirmed is that the Tooth Man has watched tonight's show. Earlier in the show, the Tooth, uh, uh, the, the Jazz Devil, for the first time ever, showed evidence of computer hackery. We've never heard that before. In any no. other episode of Dark uh, Matter. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, so I've never mentioned my IT background. But uh, I'll say this, though. No. I have helped with the Tooth Man before and kind of show that I used to program. I used to be IT. I mean, I was part of teams of video games you probably played before. So. Caroline? Or Catherine. Catherine, I guess, I... is the video game. I... 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 I, I think the screen job has gone on long enough. Just Devil, you're already several characters in this show. You don't have to be all of them. I, I'm not the Tooth Man Hunter. I, I legitimately... All right. My second favorite part of the show was when you said you could neither confirm nor deny, and then you just denied Or did I? Oh boy! No, you just denied. <laughs> Frankie, Michael, who's a deny? What? I'm um, I'm not sure. I I you know uh, I I think there's uh, I think I'm I'm interested in in you know where uh, where the chest devil is going with this, but I, I actually don't I actually don't think that uh, I don't think that he is I don't think that he is the tooth man. Yeah. You guys want to see a photo hey, of you me? Know why, yeah. Hold on, how do I how to figure out how to send this to myself now? Can I airdrop it to myself. I airdrop this photo. This is a screenshot of I, me I think, on a uh... film. You know what doesn't go well together? What doesn't go well together, Hunty? Ice cream cone. What in an ice cream cone? Wow. Heat. Oh, heat. What? Wow. Teeth. No, teeth. Like, like the teeth. Oh, man. teeth. Teeth. I'm sorry if you have you Sensodyne Hunter. If your teeth are so sensitive, you uh, can't oh, crunch into a nice ice cream cone. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of, that's All right, a here's lot a of, here's uh, a still uh, of me from a real stuff. movie. This is me from a movie. I'm just hey, like, there's that's me. Cool. That's me uh, getting kidnapped in a movie. I guess I have lines. I shot this movie like five years ago. And what? And why is the? This looks like it was taken in a in a theater. Yes. So the the premiere of this film was tonight at the Lemley. Um, but hey. I was not able to attend. 
for obvious reasons. But here I am in a film. I thought I got cut out because my friend Dennis, who directed the film, would not. I was like, hey, I'm an editor. Let me see your movie. I'll, I'll give you some notes. I'll tell you what I think. And he would not send it to me. I assumed it was because I was cut out of the movie. Good night, Kate Morgan's ghost. Good night. Sarah Walker hey, can, saying, can I, Tooth I, Man, uh... The Stimulus, Bruno, Sam. They are all by low. Wow. What a drop. What a drop right before also, exiting. Don't forget, Bilo was the fuck you man, too. Bilo was the fuck you man. The I one episode the Bilo you, was not on the show. That's true. This is really going to, this is really going to, we're, we're going to be, the world will be back to normal. We're going to be doing this every Saturday night. <laughs> it's the worst, worst, uh, I mean, I have two little kids. I'm not doing anything anyway. I'm going to be home, but I'm just saying. Oh, I have so much gas in my belly. Deb Jones asking if it was SAG. It was not SAG. Oh my god, we just got another email we from the did? Man. Hold on. Yes. I had to mute my mic there for a second. Okay. Ow. Okay. Let me see here. I was trying to translate into Turkish for our Turkish listener there. We got a new email from the Tooth Man. We sure did. All right. Well, hold on. I'm going to have to. I'm trying to figure out which. All right, here he is. I'm going to have to enter the password. Wow. Another Tooth Man email. So who's in the chat right now? Oh, I mean, right now, you know. Chess Devil only has so many hands. Yeah, Chess Devil's on the phone. It's true. Well, no, Chess uh, Devil uh, uses uh, his computer. We, we, we I know. do. <laughs> okay. And it is a wily <laughs> headset that, that is fucking up. Okay, so here's Wait, the new email Amazon? from the Tooth Man. All right. Oh, okay. This is in English. The Tooth Man emailing oh in English now. Oh boy! And only the Tooth Man has access to this email box. We it's can't. True. We can only receive messages. I think in or, like only the Tooth Man can even log into this email. We can. We have to enter the password every time to see any emails. Wow! Oh my God! I'm reading this email myself. My goodness! Not a setup. Not a framing. A warning. Chess Devil has been given more and more freedom. When does Dark Matters become a platform to not Frankie, not Michael, not even the Hunter, but someone else sent with urgency? Wow. Chess Devil, you being attacked right now. I think the Tooth Man is saying that uh, this is a warning towards you. Of course, if you were the Tooth Man, you would probably write something like this. I... I... I, I'm a little scared, uh, Tooth Man. Uh, yeah. I, who's whose show is this? You know, is it? Yeah. And, and we. This is this is the question that Tooth Man is raising, and I think it's a good one. Yeah, I mean, we did That's spend. I, we were supposed to be going over the Summerton Man case today, and instead uh, we did we just, a tour of your house. Yeah, but we should wait case. till. Well, I mean, they they just dug his ass up, so we should. We could probably wait on that till they figure out who it is. It's also worth noting that you let uh, Chess Devil run the show last week. Um, I mean, I did the phones. Yeah, but he had to because we were blindfolded. It's true. Right. Wait. That, that, wait a minute. That's more freedom. That's freedom. That, I, yeah. That could be what. Yeah. Man, to speak of truth. No, Brother Wags. I'm the Stefan of Dark Matters. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Good question. Is Chess Devil pulling focus? Tooth Man. We're getting notes from the Tooth Man, Bilo. How do you feel about that? I love it. I, I always appreciate uh, uh, notes. I, uh, I 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm glad. Well, this is after the matter. You know, my, my dad, my dad texted me uh, the morning after every go sketch yourself with notes. Your dad? Wait, yes. okay, Hunter, mission. Can you have your dad watch this show? I would love to get notes from your dad on this show. <laughs> uh, well, right now he, he is uh, he's out of town, but uh, another week, uh, absolutely. Oh, I thought your dad was messaging you from New York. Oh, no, 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 he is. Oh, okay. That, that's the thing, but he's, he's, he's out, out of the town of New York, so, I see. Um, so, yeah. like, he's on. He's, 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 he's on vacation with his fucking girlfriend, so I'm yeah. not going to make we don't We don't like the girlfriend, Hunter. Uh, I'm not going to say that on a stream he might accidentally watch. Uh, although Michael, I think, has met the girlfriend. I, I Anytime have, yeah, you refer to them uh, her as the girlfriend, it's not a good sign. <laughs> uh, I'm very, very happy that my father uh, dates his own age. Yeah. Well, that's good. Uh, it's... Uh, but um no i mean yeah I, I don't know what's what's going on here like is the show being pulled like i'm this is this is a compelling show yeah this is a compelling show friends i just i don't know i like i like that uh there's no reddit for the show unless somebody made it and i don't know about it uh well i mean we might as well make it it could be like a sad reddit with 10 people but I can't. The problem is my Reddit account I, I, is purposefully anonymous because I, I comment on certain mm-hmm. boards, and I say I say things I don't want to be tied back to myself professionally. Other duck asking mm-hmm. is Chess level still on the line? Say one thing. Yeah, but I was threatened by the tooth man, and and legitimately I, I do feel what bad. Do you, what do you feel bad about <laughs> so. Chess Double? Yeah. I feel like you should stick up for yourself here. Well, no, like, Chess Devil's sensitive when he's... Oh, okay. Well, he's sensitive all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Uh, sorry, dude, man. Not trying to steal limelight. Sorry. No, no. I, I, we don't. It's not that we believe. Uh, no. We pick up these phones. We pick I... up these phones. Honestly, I'm the one who created the pattern of, oh, there's a limelight, I'm going to steal it. Because I was I was Mr. After the Matters. You created it for me. Well. So thank you for giving me my little platform. Yeah, you're our, you're our Chris Hardwick uh, without, without the uh, troubling allegations. <laughs> yeah. And you know who... <laughs> You know who also isn't Chris Hardwick? Chess Devil. No. Chess, Chess Devil is... Whoa, whoa, no, no. <laughs> I am not the Chris Hardwick here. I'm, uh... If, if, if anybody, I'm the, uh... The one guy that plays left guitar that likes, uh... What's his name? Uh... Eh, I'm drunk. Sorry. <laughs> Brother Wax says you're the Beetlejuice of the show. I feel like Chess Devil, unless he's totally hey, drunk, is a little bit more functional than Beetlejuice. But actually, hold on, I I would make the argument you're the Beetlejuice from the movie Beetlejuice. Oh, because in the movie <laughs> Beetlejuice, we didn't. Uh, he uh, the character wasn't expected to be. You know, oh, this is going to be the breakout character. You know, everyone thought it was a movie about Alec Baldwin and Winona Ryder, but then Michael Keaton came in, and they're like, "Holy shit, this is this is a Beetlejuice movie. This is a comedy, not a horror movie." Mm. Uh, all I can and, say is, "Nice fucking model, Hong Kong." <laughs> <laughs> Brother Wax saying, "Bilo, you've been reading Yelp reviews for the last five minutes. I wouldn't be surprised. What are you doing there, Bilo? What are you? What um, you uh, I'm googling." Uh, Various variations of chess devil in different languages to see uh, to see what is what is out there on the on like 
is the chess devil like a, a a real character? Is there a culture where the chess devil is a is a real thing? Yeah, the chess. The answer is the answer yeah, is no. Here. Yeah, here the in our culture, no. in the, the dark, here, in the matters. dark matters the culture that we've here. created. What if we just lived? What if like we could just take all of our friends from dark matters and like live on an island somewhere? Uh, it would be. We should do a draft. Milo, we should do a draft. We should do a dark matters island. draft. Yeah. And we should draft teams. Uh, I, I love that. I love that. This game could be I like have... a dodgeball game, like Dodge Matters. God, I was so I was so bad at uh dodgeball. <laughs> I was so afraid of getting hit with the ball. <laughs> Will we all pick last? Uh, yeah. Yeah. For dodgeball, yeah. 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 I, yeah, I, I can't catch. Five eleven two seventy. Of course. Yeah. You're good. Basketball. Yeah. When I was in elementary school, I was like a foot taller than everybody, so I was always the first pick for basketball because you could just throw me the ball and I put it in the basket. <laughs> Wizard Live says, "I feel like a dark matter draft is a great way to shatter well, the fan base. Nothing we um, do better than shattering people's dreams." It's true. Um, we we there, haven't talked about. Was there any... anything like that? No, no, we we haven't talked about any of the any of the the large amount of professional basketball today. Even though I, I didn't get to a, watch any of it because I fucking had to work. I had to work all day. Oh man! I watched. I Damn. watched like ten minutes of the Blazers Nuggets game, but then I had to get ready for the show. I didn't. I don't even know who won that game. But tomorrow Damn. is the first uh, Knicks playoff game in eight years. Um, big. That's big. It's uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I think Jalen Rose said he thinks they're gonna make a run. <laughs> uh, which yeah, I they're assume, gonna run up and down I the court. Means... <laughs> up uh, maybe maybe to the second round. I think they can um, make the second round. This is a real a big day in the Gutman House. It's also right at four o'clock, so it's during nap time. So I'll, I'll at least get to watch the first half <laughs> in, in relative mm -hmm. quiet. That'll be nice. Oh, I could watch it on my giant screen too. Really milk it up. You got a giant. You've got a giant. I have a hundred twenty-inch screen. Yeah. Oh, you're your yeah, projector, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. You mean my business write-off, Bilo? Yes. It's mm. part of my professional editing day. Sure. Brother Wax, all I all I have is this is all I have. <laughs> I have a fa I have a family and I and I have a uh, projection family. screen. That's all. That's all I have. And a and a podcast. And a show. If it makes you feel. If it makes you feel better, all I have is some Lego and the full set of uh, Power Rangers action figures. I'm sorry, for for a full set. Yeah, they did a, uh, it's called the, uh, the Lightning Collection, so I got the original uh, Power Rangers, and then Zorad and Alpha, and Rita, and Lord Zed, and both versions of Tommy. Sounds like you're playing with them right now. That's what my stimulus money is. Milo, who's, who's richer, who's well, wealthier, no. me or you? <laughs> um, I don't know, you've been, you've been working for longer. Your house is um, worth more than mine. My house, my house is is worth more, uh, but that just means I'm more deeply yeah, in debt. Sure. <laughs> um, it's probably All pretty right. close. I like it. <laughs> let's do our tax. Let's do our Get 2021 out. taxes live on the air next next April. Yeah, people will love. People will love that. People, people would like that. that. I I may. I may have, uh, I mean, I did, uh, you know, at some point I may or may not receive a payout from uh, a game show that I may or may not have taken. Oh, wow. Um, recently. Oh, wait, when is it airing? We, when are we having that party? Uh, uh, the the answer is I don't, the answer is I uh. don't know. I, I only know that uh, if I taped, it won't play on the 6th. Oh, so it's not going to be the 6th. It's not going to be the sixth. I know that for a fact. Um, uh, so the yeah. chase will be on on the sixth. 
The chase will be out on the sixth, but the first episode that's showing is definitely not the is one definitely you may or may not, not have been on. That I may or may not have been on. Yeah. Well. Hey, did anybody watch Army of the Dead today? Uh, no. Is I was did. There yeah. a, a reason to? Uh, all, all two and a half well, hours. What's a new? It was fun. I, I had some editing questions for you, Frankie, if you were there. Sure. No, if you watch. I, I, I have not had time to do well, anything no, like, so, so. for the past 10 days, um, but uh, I'll, I'll answer questions here. So I mean, they, I, they replaced, I, well, they, they replaced uh, Dalia with Tignataro, and you can clearly see she's only in a one shot, and there's no coverage of her talking besides a few scenes. There's, and I just wanted your editing view from that. What? There's one scene where 75% of the way through, you realize she's been there the whole time, but it's not a, it's not a comic beat. It's just, oh, they never cut yeah. to her. Which is weird, because they would have done the same thing with Chris Delia. Like, they would have just had an, a terribly awkwardly cut scene. No. Like, it was it was a weirdly put together. You, you know the one I'm talking about is, like, when they're, when they're talking about, like, uh, how to kill a zombie and all that. In the be in like the first half hour of the movie, you uh, you're not yeah. Oh yeah, with, with, with when they do that little pan, it's probably the coolest scene with the guy with the bat. Yeah, but but then like we we don't even know Tig is there because they just don't cut because it's. If I you don't, rewatch I don't it, know if that moment was the Tig episode. Well, I just the fact that I just Google this because it says Zack Snyder spent a few million dollars to add Tig Notaro to Army of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, it's it's literally she she only has uh, there's no coverage of her. She's in only maybe two or three scenes with the whole cast, <laughs> and even when they show the helicopter scenes because she's the helicopter pilot, you can clearly tell that was Delia. <laughs> That's very funny. I want to. Uh, well, uh, now I want to watch. Now it, I want to watch this. It, it wasn't at it the top of work. my list. You know what I did watch half of the other night? It's, I watched I watched the first half of Tenet. And then I just decided to stop watching it, um, which se seemed to me like a parody of a Christopher Wait, Nolan Frankie. film. Can we talk? Can we talk about the woman in the window, Frankie? Oh yes, the woman. The woman in the window. I did watch that. The the scene that I was talking about, where she walks like backwards into a room, and then they cut to Anthony Mackie and they talk for a while. And then they cut back and they just do a whip pan. And then they say the line, I'm sorry, but plot reveal of the movie. Just that dropped on her face. It was my favorite scene in, I think I'd seen in the last decade. Because it was so beautifully shot and the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Uh, it was very interestingly shot, but also, oh, I don't know, it's hard to talk about it without, um, spoiling the movie, <laughs> because, because what makes it ridiculous is, what right, makes it yeah. ridiculous is, uh, oh, other deck just redeemed posture, Jack, I, I think he's telling me to sit up. Um, we're talking about the film The Woman in the Window, which is a rear window sort of ripoff on Netflix right now. Ooh, directed and they actually reference they have Hitchcock I forgot which film it is playing on the TV is it uh, seven? no it's like yeah. uh, it's one of the ones with uh, Ingrid Bergman I don't know but it's not Rear Window that they have playing on the TV because that would have been too obvious so they have some other Hitchcock movie playing but it's what makes it amazingly uh, terrible is the plot which we would spoil to talk about it. Has anyone seen The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kent? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just talking about movies. Well, I, I do just I do just want to say, um, because uh, I, I, I mentioned this in last week's show, and then I get a message at one point from Frankie where he just says, because I, sa I compared the film to The Room, and Frankie just sends me a message like, Oh my God! This movie has a Denny. Yeah, it has. 
Well, yeah, because there's a, there's literally a kid with a bowl cut who is the neighbor that comes in and walks into her room exactly like what happens in the room. It's like in the beginning of the movie. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but I, I would recommend it as a so bad it's good movie. Yeah, although I would say it was more, it wasn't like didn't funny. Like I didn't a- laugh during it. It was more just, it was more just like in the, like a le- like a lesson in this like how awful the tone. They just could not nail yeah. the tone, and apparently they I- reshot it. Sorry, Chess Double, I think you want to uh, say something. Talk to Rio. Well, yeah, didn't they do a Rear Window remake with a guy, a uh, kid in a wheelchair with glasses, like uh, maybe 10, 15 years ago? There was there was a Shia LaBeouf. Oh movie. yeah 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 um, yeah. I don't. This is new. This what is was new it called? Me. Suburbia? Is that it? No, Disturbia. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it is. But I'm not. I'm not. Not uh, seen it. Yeah, you, you ever have? The, that's exactly the type of movie where I honestly don't remember if I've seen it. Other duck. What do you think of Yorgos? I guess this is movie matters. What do you think of Yorgos Lanthimos? This is. I feel like he's one of those directors that is um, better when they direct somebody else's script. Like the favorite, I thought was really great, but the rest of his stuff I find a little mm-hmm. cold. I, I don't really like the Lobster or uh, Dog Tooth. Uh, I find dog I tooth. just find them formally interesting, but also kind of like cold and. I thought, and oh, same. What was it? Killing of a sacred deer. Same it was the yeah. same thing. It was like all atmosphere, but it, no emotion. And I think that the favorite was a lot better. I think what's his new movie? It's based on a novel. I think it's called Pop Twelve Eighty. Based on a Jim Thompson novel. Yeah. So that I feel like might be good. Because it's an adaptation of something. I, you know, I, 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 I really like the favorite, uh, "Killing of a Sacred Deer." Um, just really turned me off. Yeah, but like favorite, you know that that might have been the movie I was pulling for, you know, of like the Oscar movies that year. Yeah, because the favorite is like funny. Like none of none of his movies are like, like yeah. especially the Lobster is just all about. It's like, it's like people who are not interesting and want to prove that they're weird kind of thing. Dogtooth, Dogtooth, I think is like, is a very, uh, like, I I remember laughing a couple of times, like, like a couple of like really hard laughs in, in Dogtooth. Uh, But a lot of the time I was just really on edge. uh, Cause it's just a very uncomfortable. There's like a lot of uncomfortable stuff in that film. One wasn't there also and i mean this is kind of bringing it back to darkness um wow thank you Hunter. Uh, one of the leads of that movie uh killed themselves uh and allegedly it was you know kind of driven from that experience uh, which, I don't... which one oh i don't know i think the woman from that died but did she kill herself? I'm, I'm googling this Dog now. Suicide. I don't see anything. I I feel like I read, I read this. Yeah, uh, in 2017, she was found in her apartment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, suffered from severe depression. Uh, uh, I don't see yeah. anything that says it was from. But uh, I I I remember. I don't see anything that says it was from the movie. Brother Wags wants to shit on on the lobster. I, I, Go for it, Brother Wags. <laughs> I I kind of agree. Eight one eight six five zero three two seven five. If you hate the lobster, give us a call. Every time I sit, sit, there was I I tried to watch the lobster like a bunch of times. The the first time I sat down to watch the lobster, one of my really good friends had like a mental health crisis. <laughs> And then the second time I sat down to watch it, I had like a stomach thing and I couldn't finish it. It took me three times to finish it, not related to it. 
I tried to get Mrs. Devil to watch it, and she literally called me an idiot for making her watch this 15 minutes into the movie. <laughs> hey, Winnie, 650 Hi. So the killing of a sacred deer. This is Lanthimos like, Matters. Is it even possible to spoil? Is, is it possible to spoil that movie because... It makes no fucking sense what happens in the second half of that movie. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I have a really bad memory for movies that I've seen, but like, what? Isn't it just that? Isn't it? Isn't it? Don't they just tell you what happens in that movie? Right? They just tell you what's going on in that movie. They, they, well, they kind of. Because the kid, it's like the kid. It's, it's like the. The kid, his, the uh, Colin Farrell was. Uh, the the sacred deer dies. Uh, one of the sacred deers. Wait, Colin Farrell was like drunk during the kid's dad's surgery, so the kid's dad dies, and so he like the kid's the kid has some like magic power or something, and he like slowly slowly poisons and sickens his kids, and then they have to he has to choose one of them to to kill. Right? That's I mean, right? And then he kills right. one of them, and then the other one lives. Yeah, but but then add in the add in the whole spinny gunny blindfoldy thing. Well, that's because that's isn't that just because he didn't he didn't want to have to choose which kid to kill or which member of his family to kill. So he did it in the in the most stagey most stagey stupidest way to do it. <laughs> okay, good. So we landed on being in the same position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like you don't under, but it's not like you don't understand what's going on. It's just like there you know, it's just like ah this right, well but I, I I guess I didn't understand the, the thought process that could get someone to this place in this narrative. Yeah. Well, I guess if you I mean it's kind of like a literal Sophie's choice, right? Yeah. I mean I I, I hate that that's like the first time I really saw that kid because that kid's such a fucking good yeah, actor. You mean the um the, vi like, the villain kid? Ever since not I his saw son. him in it. Yeah, the villain kid. The one who always sits across the table from yeah. him. Yeah, he's really good in uh what's he in? Nocturnal Animals. He was in some gay Irish movie. He's in that, Dunkirk, I some think. gay Irish movie that I saw. Barry, Barry Keegan. Yeah, I didn't even want to fail at pronouncing I that. I just took a stab. Apparently he's in the new Batman movie, yeah. which is what happens whenever whenever you have a minimal amount of success. Yeah, isn't he playing one of the villains? Stanley Merkel, it says. I don't know who Stanley Merkel is. I've, I have I had never heard of this this particular film so i'm i'm learning Which, a lot oh we're just the film that we're spoiling for you <laughs> yeah well i don't really i don't really like if i'm gonna watch a yorgos lanthimos film i don't like it, it's also based on on iphigenia at, at aulis uh so it's like i've read that so it's not a it, if it's the same story I, I basically know what happens yeah and it's well, and, and this, to, to, to bring it back to uh, the woman in the window, what I thought was a lot of the fun of it was just the arch of the performances. Like, the, oh, especially yeah, at the, the end, we especially about. at the end when they do the reveal with the, oh my it's, uh, it's like, yeah, that's the big, that's the big note that I get on, well, I mean, uh, on uh, Good Girls is they don't want any of the characters to be, that's their buzzword is art. They want any of the characters to be arch. So if anyone re sounds remotely evil, they're just like cut that. Yeah. No, I mean everyone was big, yeah. Like in in this movie, it was. And amazing. Gary Oldman, who and clearly the... did this movie as a favor because Joe Wright got him an Oscar, <laughs> it just is <laughs> <laughs> it has like three yeah. minutes of screen time. <laughs> They're all in. He has three minutes of screen time. Second yeah, build. second meal, and and uh, fifty percent of those minutes are just him screaming. He's like kind of still doing Winston Churchill. Oh, and <laughs> but just not the voice. That fucking hairpiece is amazing. Yeah. 
I, uh, I would admit, I've never watched Good Girls. Could you, uh, Good Girls, could you give me the elevator pitch of the show? Sure. Uh, the elevator pitch. It's about three suburban moms who are in a tight financial street, so they turn to a life of crime. That's the log line. Whoa! Okay, don't read me the Wikipedia article. What? I just said that off the top of my head. Uh... Basically, mostly the show, there's this guy, Manny Montana, who plays a character named Rio, who is a, a very hot young man. And um, 50% of the viewers of the show just want him and Christina Hendricks to fuck. Um, so there's a, there's a ship. Why doesn't he, why doesn't he bang Mae Whitman first and then, and then well, step up? Well, funny you say that. Originally, his character was written to be one of Mae Whitman's, like, boyfriends or something. But then, um... But then they found chemistry with him and Christina Hendricks, and they changed it. Uh, yes, they did. Fu- they did. They did fuck. And then also this this season, he um, finger fingered her when she was wearing a wire. That was one of the reveals this season. Uh, he fingers her, and uh, oh they may they may fuck again. They may not fuck again. I can't say. I know what wow. I know whether they do and whether they don't. So there's a lot of people that would like me to say that. So are you uh, are you jealous of Todd uh, Gerlinger and Kina? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Kina oh, they're, and Lamar. They're and my, they're, no, they're my good friends. <laughs> Todd Todd has been editing the show since season one, so he's a producer now. He has a producer title now, so I think he gets paid more than me. So that's good for him. And Ken is like one of my favorite people on the planet. Real chill guy. Nice, nice. Can we call on if we think they will? Uh, sure. Anybody can call in for any reason. 818-650-3275. Dark. Uh-oh. Wait, you worked on Last Man on Earth? Yeah, I worked on the first season of Last Man <laughs> Is this just uh, chest double reading my IMDb? Yes, I worked on the first season of Last Man on Earth. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're not a funny even show. We're not even posturing the idea that it could be the Tooth Man reading the uh, IMDb. I, you know what? I will, I will say that I think Tooth Man predates Chess Devil. So if Chess Devil is the Tooth Man, then that that would mean yeah. that Chess yeah. Devil was like yeah. lurking it, and and not commenting or on a different account. I mean, it's possible. Yeah. You can pinpoint well, the episode I I I called it at the show. I was drunk. As hell on, uh, 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 on the dark on the dark whiskeys, which I'm no longer allowed to drink anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys were talking about, yeah, yeah, Doctor and Mrs. Devil both said no more. Wait, who's Doctor Devil? Uh, I, just the local. Oh, okay, I, you're a doctor. I didn't know if if you had like a brother who was a doctor. You yeah, called Doctor yeah. Devil. I, I was also no, that, no, no, so yeah. I'm glad Frankie Would that, that be the name of your soda, Dr. Devil? Oh, that's good. No prunes in mine, yeah. though. Are there prunes in Dr. Pepper? Wait. Yeah, that's one of the uh, flavors. Yeah. But it makes sense. Okay. But yeah, you guys were talking about best. Oh, no, no. You guys were talking about improv, and I just randomly mentioned Besser, and he told me to call him. Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so, yeah. Was that is that the episode where we prank called Ian Roberts' wife? <laughs> or was that later? Uh, no, I think that was like a month after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Because I, I, hey. I do think uh, the, uh, we're going to shut down all the UCDs. Okay. All right. Okay. Improv for okay. humans. Like... You know, I uh, one of my big IMDb credits is with Mr. Matt Besser. Oh yeah, let's play it. We should play an IMDb game somehow. My IMDb Hunter M. Altman. is so full of. You got a lot on here, Hunty. <laughs> okay. No, I do because I've been in, with the exception of getting fucking injured all the time. I've yeah been working on an awesome fucking cruise yeah. ship. I wish I was still you know a PA, you know, but I don't. 
deep slice, the lost 70s pizza delivery porno. Uh, that was my second video that made the front page on Funny or Die. Hey. Starring Jesse Klein of the Pack Theater. Jesse Klein. Film operator on something called One Sunday Afternoon. Post production consultant on underground that comedy. Short... <laughs> That's one we can talk about. Oh my God. <laughs> when are we going to get I, underground comedy? I can't talk much about it, but I can say this. I have seen multiple edits. You of that have? Film. I. Wow. I was. Wait. Were what? we? We were. Were we on the same improv team with her, with the director of underground comedy? We yep. were, right? Yeah. We were. Right. In fact, I think that's when I got to know you, because I remember I there was one what viral video this? that I, was I chose not, I was not, not to a... act in, because our group was just so much fucking fun. Our to group was. With. Who was in I this was group? Not part of this group. What is this? It was me, you, Dennis, Carlin, yeah. Dennis, director Bruce of the two director of Paradox oh. Lost, the film that I was in. Yes. Uh, yeah, Nicole, Jillian, Dunn. Uh, and then there were like three other people. Drew, Drew was in it. Guilt on, yes. Uh, Drew, yes. Was it, like that, I was just thinking earlier this week just about the idea of like I was so the ringer in that group to make everyone else look better. <laughs> nah. Because I was just like the weirdo who would make weird moves that everyone else could like just play awesomely yeah. off. Man, Drew's got some good. I'm on uh, Drew's IMDb now. Like, He's got some good, uh, some good credits on here. He's working yeah. a lot. It's on a show called On the Verge. With Julie Delpy. Hey. And Elizabeth Shue. Del- Eight episodes. I want to be in a show with Julie Delpy. So I, uh, I tried to show uh, M- Mrs. Devil the a uh, couple weeks ago the orgy episode of you you were yeah. in, and she hates Andy Daly so much she refused uh, wait, to watch a single minute of it. How could you hate Andy Daly? He's like the least hateable person on the planet. Hey, that's what I say. I, what I think it is, we're gonna sleep or listen to podcast, and then I would play uh, bananas for Bonanza, and she just started hating him from that. <laughs> Uh, yes, was we're live. I'm in, I'm, the, I'm the caller that asked about orgies in the orgy app, um, because I was I was the uh, assistant editor on that show, and I did all, I did all the temp video of Andy Daly. Uh, and they like my temp. They let they hey, like my temp video, so they the... let me uh, they let me uh, be one of the callers. Sorry, what was that CD? Who, who, who's, who's the guy that opened the door each time? You still friends with that the guy? The guy that opened the door? Yeah, whenever he would leave, you know, do his review, there would be that one guy that opens the door. Oh, for I him. mean, yeah, that that was on set. I don't know who that was. I was in it. I was in another. <laughs> I was in a totally oh, separate okay. part I, of the I, lot. I have something to bring up. Um, I need you to pull up an image okay. for me, uh, okay. Frankie. Okay. Can you pull up an image of Garrett Dillahunt in Army of the Dead? Okay. Chess Devil, you might have an idea of what I'm what I'm about to bring. Okay. Up. Are you talking about? I believe Snyder mentioned the the anime that will go. Uh, am What's I that? looking for something specific? Just just a picture of Garrett Dillahunt. Acting in the movie Army of the Dead. Okay. Well, hold on. Let me. I'll just. Like a carry. Whoa. All right. Yeah, that whole movie could have been been over if his subplot in like fifteen minutes. If they did his goal. 
Well, now I want to watch Army of the Dead to okay. check out this. Uh, but I don't know which is the photo of him from the movie because I have not seen it. Okay, um, perfect. The one in the middle is perfect. Oh, I uh, you, okay. I, no, no, that, that's right. I've Why scrolled. We, I've scrolled what? past, so you'll have to describe yeah. it. Okay, scroll back up. Okay, I'm at the top here. Where it says Wiley X Klein or something. The middle, the top okay, row, middle, this one right one here. The yeah. skeleton. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, second row middle. Okay, here we go. He looks so much in this movie <laughs> like Kevin fucking Dorf. It, I couldn't get past it. I kind of see it. Our former improv coach. Like, in, in the yeah. way he carries himself, in the way, like, he performs his role. Chess Devil, you're familiar with Kevin Dorf, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yes. I, oh, I that's why. Now, especially with the chin. Yeah. I guess I see it a little bit. It's, 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 it's uh, I, I think it's also, like, uh, like, Garrett Dillon's very much, like, uh, you know, growing into, like, the like the late 80s heavy kind of guy. And he very much played it in a late in a late 80s heavy kind of way. And it very much had the vibe of like Kevin Dorff playing the racist on your uh uh uh, uh on Kevin, Kevin Dorff was our, was our play, improv uh, coach in, for in, um, like two months. Yeah. But all the, all the women in the yeah. group didn't like him. <laughs> they all were the creeped out by him. did not like him. For, oh. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I loved him. I loved him on Conan. I, I loved him as an improv coach too. But he was very yeah. aggressive. He wasn't inappropriate, but he was very. His style was very yeah. aggressive. Yeah, he got, he got in, in people's, people's faces, faces, and I, that made some people uncomfortable. But I loved it. He was kind of yeah, like a too. football coach for improv, which I could see how that might not go <laughs> so well for some people. I don't want to yeah. give the wrong impression by saying See, that. I, 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 I have two quick Kevin Dorf stories. One of them is walking past him at the uh, uh, the Gower Gulch Denny's. Uh, that story one <laughs> is over. Uh, story number two is I went uh, to uh, perform it not too shabby at UCB. So this would have been like nine years ago uh, when Review was playing. And review took half of the not too shabby, but I was still acting in someone's sketch, even though it was only half a show. And so uh, they were playing like a bunch of the scenes from review to, you know, get notes from an audience to bring it back in. And so he was sitting in the audience watching me act in the dumbest, fucking most gorgeously silly sketch about me dealing with a person in a giant bear costume. And he came up to me afterwards, even though I didn't write it. He was like, hey, good job. And so yeah, that was very sounds nice. like him. We should call him up. I wonder what he's doing right now. <laughs> he would also talk yeah. a lot about oh. divorce. <laughs> he would. Well, <laughs> he would always met a... Wait, did he I get think so. I, I, I don't quote me on it, but he would. Yeah, I think he did because he would. I think he was going through it and he would he would always bring up like family stuff and divorce as like 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 because he was very character based so he'd be like you know this guy you know this fucking guy okay this is the this is the guy who comes home after a long day of work and he gets into his house and his wife she said one look and he's fucking dead you know this guy <laughs> <laughs> think about it think about it if you've been beaten he's down you think about think about a real person a real person who's been beaten down who's had the cold snow in his face who's just been destroyed by the world you gotta bring that into your scenes he tells a great story uh, on uh, the Horatio podcast uh, about review um, when they were the, the one episode that got denied I think we talked about this before where it was a, a pedo island so he wanted to bring his son to this island yeah. <laughs> and it all just turned out to be pedophiles yeah, yeah, I think that was after. I only did the first season, so I don't think that. I think that that was one of the ones they they proposed for the second season. Can can we? Um, I I don't know if I've talked about it here. The way review ended 
was my favorite like ARG I've ever been a part of. Does ARG stand for like some type of alternate game? Alternate reality. Alternate reality game? Yeah, so what they did was after like two years of not having the show at all, they announced that the show is coming back. They don't announce how many episodes. They said, you know, the total episode count is TBD. But, you know, it's coming back on, you know, whatever day, whatever day week it is. Uh, I guess I'll meant it could be it, too. So they're like, you know, it's going to come back. Uh, and, and it came back. And episode one is, you know, great. And episode two is great. And then episode three is, wait, did the show just end? Like the third review in episode three before it aired, they didn't say it was the oh. finale. So it just played out as you're watching him in real time, and you yourself in real time are thinking you're not watching the final episode of something. Well, I think for, maybe I just knew like that they only had three episodes. Well, but they, they presented it uh, to, like publicly. Um, they, they, as they like really a season? Announced yeah, they said, "Oh yeah, we got we got another season coming," and so as a result, because uh, the one thing you know I noticed afterwards was they changed the title afterwards to Last Review, but before it it was something something something. But it, it was very clear that the idea was it was being pulled from underneath Forrest McNeil and from the audience at the same time. And so, as one of the few shows I watched live, it was like I was experiencing something instead of just watching a TV show. Was, wasn't the delay due to Justice St. Clair's health issues? Uh, I, no, I think it was... I don't think so. I think it was due to um, them, try, them trying to get funding from Comedy Central to get another show. But don't quote me on that because I didn't, I didn't work on season two. But I, th I think they were just, they just were like begging to, f I think they only did three episodes because they, they were like, because nobody watched that show. Nobody's heard of that show other than probably the five of us talking yeah. right now. So. Yeah, it's well, such a you, great show. It, 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 it is, is a great show. show. You, you, know, you know what the problem is? The problem is, uh, hey, Frankie, uh, maybe pull up a, uh, a Google for this. Try Googling the word review. Yeah. Well, there. <laughs> Did any of you watch the Australian uh, well, version of it? You know the you reason why Googling Andy decided to make that show is because he watched the Australian version and said, "This sucks. I can make a good version of this." <laughs> Review with <laughs> Miles Barlow. Is that the guy's name? Uh, yeah. It's yeah. not. I mean, I only watched a couple episodes of it because oh. when I first started, I was like, "Oh, I better watch the original show." And because, <laughs> and, and, but then I like met Andy and just overheard him talking and I was like, yeah, it fucking is terrible and I thought I could make a better version. I was like, alright, I'm gonna stop watching ah. this now. It's on uh, YouTube. I just Googled it. You know what I, I would like Andy Daly to do a Don DeMillo show. Yeah, or any of his uh, any of his uh, other characters. Yeah. I tried to get him uh, when we yeah, were when we were doing um, <laughs> when, when we were doing like a fundraiser. I tried to get Andy to come on as a guest, but he never responded to my email. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking back at why Mrs. Devil hates Andy Daly, and it's a lot of comedy bang bang episodes. She'd have oh, to re yeah. listen to because I'd I fall asleep comedy bang bang. and then start it from where I left off. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. On it's a great show. Funny, bang, bang. This is it, it's just kind of kismet. Like a lot of the shit that I've enjoyed and I found That's you. Great. Right. A lot of the stuff that I tripped and fell into working on through no effort of my own <laughs> that I also happened to like. It is true, like. Like, I feel like Barry would probably be my favorite show on TV if I didn't work on it. And I just literally, the only reason I work on it is because my friend 
happened to work on it and was like, hey, they need somebody on this Bill Hader show. But I, it's not like I saw. It's not like I sought it out or was like even had heard of it. You know what? I'm not gonna throw shade here, but I I couldn't finish season one. I was watching it while it was out coming out. Ooh. I could not finish season one, and I'm oh, not you gotta get past. Like once you get past like the third or fourth episode, it you you gotta get past the. Oh no! Like I got, you got deep you into watched, it. I think I had like two uh, episodes the seventh, left. The seventh but... and the eighth ones are the best ones for sure. Seven is probably the best one, in the whole show. There have been yeah, two, two seasons two now. Seasons is that eight. right? Hopefully, yeah. we're about to do two more. Hey, did you set up your uh, assistant yet? What do you mean? We said your your assistant editor was trying to. Oh, to oh, you want her up? No, I have not. Why, why are you uh, putting yourself out there? Oh, did I lose you? Have I lost my connect? I lost the connection again. This is awful. Right, and right when something interesting was happening, my connection has gone kaput again. And now it's just me. Let me try to get back in this call and see if this works. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I lost you guys, but you're back. I lost you guys. Oh, back. all right. What happened? The uh, hunter, go go ahead. Uh, uh, re just repeat for everybody's benefit. I'm sorry, nobody heard that. <laughs> after I after. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to ask Brother Wag uh, if you call in, uh, can we can we go over your IMDb page and also. So your Tinder profile. Oh hell yeah, let's do it, Wags. All aboard the poo train. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> what is this show? It's a question we've been asked a lot, a lot. This is after the matters. This is the official yeah. after show of This Is Dark Matters, which is not that different from the original show. Um, but Tonight. give us a call eight one eight six five zero dark. That's our phone number. We've got it's eight one eight six five zero three two seven five. I'm Frankie. This is Michael Call next it. to me. We we are comedians and we work in the showbiz. We've got Chess Devil on the line. We've got Hunter on the line. We're just shooting the shit right now. This is like an after after show. We talk about paranormal topics and we also take take tours of Michael's house, uh, which we did today. And we also have puzzles and mysteries. It's it's hard to explain, but we're glad that. We're glad that you're here, and I love the username all aboard the Poo Train. That's kind of that's kind of what we are. That could be a name for this show. All yeah. aboard the Poo Train. Uh, I would say Frankie is the Thank caboose you. of the Poo Train. I am train. right now. I've been farting for the last like two hours nonstop. I don't want to know what this smells like in here. What did we miss? What did we miss when we disconnected? Wait. Who's the uh, who's the conductor of the Poo Train? Uh, it's a it's a great question. Uh, you know, is it is it Miles Stroth? No, it's definitely not is Miles Stroth. I'll tell you that for well. It's Rick Miles Stroth. Miles Stroth has been off the poo yeah. train for for a long time. Miles Stroth just sits on his porch drinking rumble mints and watching yeah. the poo train. Uh, you, you know, travel from Bakersfield down to yeah, down like to San Clemente. Metaphor. This is and this is the Pack Theater Channel. This is a comedy theater in Los Angeles, California. So we've got. Um, Different, different comedy. We've got sketch shows, improv shows, all kinds of uh, cool comedians on here seven days a week. That's our deal. Well, what were, what were we talking about when I um, when we got disconnected? You asked if I had set up my assistant yet. I, I think we're. Uh, yeah, and then I believe uh, brother uh, Hunter asked brother Wax for his Tinder profile. Yeah, because brother. Wax All right. Well, offers. speaking of, we've, we've got a call right here. Maybe this is him. Dark matters. It's dark matters. This is dark, is this matters. dark matters. This is dark matters. I think this is, so. This is that brother Wags, uh, long time watcher, third time caller. Welcome to the show, brother Wags. Wait, <laughs> wait, you're keeping track. Brother Wags from the Snoop Dogg MTV sketch show, Brother Wags? I'm just throwing it out there. If you'd like to look at IMDb pages, you can look at mine and I'll answer any questions about any of the direct. Okay, can we can we paste can I've we paste on. your can I paste your IMDb into the chat, Brother Wags? 
Okay, I just sure. didn't want I didn't want to put your name out there if you didn't want to. And here we go. So here's Brother Wags. Yeah, so just just look out for it, Joe. Uh, all right, let's talk about let's talk about my Antonio. If anybody if a, anybody if, doxes me, I would like computer security as provided by <laughs> Chess Devil. <laughs> Let, let's talk about my Antonio, on which you were a consulting producer. Now, is this a is this a takeoff on the classic, uh, I, I believe, Willa Cather novel, My Antonia? Oh, my overeducated <laughs> friend, Michael Byron. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. It was a ripoff of The Bachelor with Antonio Sabato Jr. as the uh, the suitor. As the man, as the man who has sex with women on Hawaii <laughs> while a production shoots around them. Wait, wait, wait a minute, brother Rex. You actually worked on Late World. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> I love that show on a VH1. One of the best VH1 shows ever. Great show. Short lived, but burned bright while it lasted. All right, we've got we've got another we've got another call. I'm at I'm at another uh, we've got I, another I, caller. Oh no, they just hung up. I hate when that happens. I was gonna bring him on the air. Eight one eight six five zero three two seven five is the number to call. Uh, brother Wag. Uh, yeah. I, I, I want to ask about because uh, I I didn't really watch um, many shows like this, but uh, my girlfriend uh, at the time got me into it. Uh, who wants to be a superhero? Yes, I worked on the original MTV pilot version of that um which was not picked up and then i know that picked it up um i i don't remember i it, it was just was it at fox that picked it up no I mean, I no it was all right we, we've, no, we've got it was another some, call it was some here. other channel that can keep uh, dark matters some other channel picked it up but i worked on the Is original there? pilot hello yeah. hello Hi. So I have a I, I have a question. Yes. The government has started talking about UFOs officially. Yes. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Are they preparing us for our alien overlords, or are they preparing us to let us know we're not the only ones out there? Finally, they're preparing us. What do you think? What do you think, Bilo? We have. Well, we had an interesting talk uh, a couple of weeks ago with, uh, uh, I've forgotten his name, but one of the co-founders of MUFON Ron, TV about Ron this. Ja- uh, Ron James. Uh, well, I always Ron remember James. his name as he's like LeBron James, but without the le. Without the I will remember it. I will remember him as Ron <laughs> Jeremy, but slightly different. Yeah. Um, uh, I, uh, I, 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 it's just that we're not alone. Uh, that's, that's my feeling. Uh, I don't think uh, I mean, the the other option is like you know is like big time conspiracy is like a real real big time conspiracy, and you know it's it's possible there's fluoride in the water and such, but uh, uh, I I don't believe it. I I think it's I think it's I I long. think uh, what I think it's going to be caller is it's just going to be a bu- it's just going to be a bunch of crap, and they're just going to say they're just going to say oh yeah we have these videos and we don't know. We don't know what this is, uh, so it might. But we think it's, we think you know, we think it might be. Uh, we think it might be able to be explained, and it's not really a big deal. And it's just going to be a whole bunch of crap, and nothing's going to come of it, and all the excitement's going to be for nothing. That's that's what I think. What What do you think? I just want to also say, I look forward to down the road when I can see you guys live at the complex again. Hey, we look forward to being back there. Or listen, we look forward to doing the show live in front of a in front of a real audience and with you know all the all the fixings that come with that uh, as soon as possible. You know you're on Anyhow, the you know you're keep hope alive. You know you're on the phone with a, a writer for the Orlando Jones show. <laughs> the what? I'm sorry. It, it was no. <laughs> Uh, I have not heard of the Orlando Jones show. It's a show from 2003. Yes. We've got Brother Wax. Yes, yeah, short-lived okay. uh, talk show on the FX Wait, channel. Wait, the Orlando Jones, uh, Anansi, that dude? 
I think he did. He was on the original cast of Mad TV and did a lot of Sprite commercials. I think or seven. Oh, right, and then like he became a Nancy in 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 yes. um, yeah. that Neil yeah, Gaiman on American TV. Gods. Yeah, and he then, played a movie. Oh, oh yeah, American God. Gods. Yeah, he was yep. on American Gods. Yeah. Nice, nice. Anyways, so I just wanted to ask you about UFO thoughts. Well, thank you, caller. Preparing us. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> and I, I adore uh, the pack. You guys. You guys oh, we can't. Great. We can't wait to see hey, you in person. Hey, hey, call now. Wait, wait, caller, caller, don't hang up. Okay. Yet. Oh, okay, okay. You were this chest devil here. You were so excited about our Nancy. Uh, Mrs. Devil is very much a fan of uh, Nancy Boys. What's your feelings on that before I read it? A Nancy Boys? Okay. Um, it's a really good book. He did his work. Damon did his work. Are you talking about the book or the TV show? What are you talking about? Well. Well, the book, but then I also have your right. your feelings on why they fired him for being too angry. Oh, you know, I yeah, white people and yeah, he was right. Look, at least before they got rid of him, right? If you've seen the series, that first series, the first ep- uh, the first season, where Orlando threw down in the slave ship. Look at that part. Look at that part where he goes, he gets it. He doesn't. But uh, uh, it's, it's complicated. You know, I'm just a consumer. But I know that consuming this stuff, I watch a lot of things that are created by problematic white men who never have any fucking um, consequences come down. Preach. But every once in a while... They can do it, you know. Every once in a while, you know, I, it's it's. Uh, I, 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 this is not my show. I could go oh. on and on. Uh, and you I didn't don't know it was. To, it was, um, but it is now. It's your show for I the don't moment. Want to take up time. <laughs> um, Orlando was fucked over, from what I know, just from what I've seen. Right? He threw down on that show. He wrote stuff for that show. And then they were like, "No, oh, you're 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 mad. You're angry. Oh, black people, you can't be angry. You have to be nice. You have to present it in a way that doesn't uh, um, offend or 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 bother the white dudes in charge." You know, I I right. I, I feel like I should stop talking. No, oh, we love this. No, no, I love this. Well, there's am, listen. So there's no. There's no. There's no talking yeah, police Yeah, the white dude's here. in charge of this uh, show uh, like what you're saying. Yeah. We yeah. already oh. shit on the lobster yeah, earlier so tonight. We're already... so it's the same right. day. <laughs> you know, I, he's great. Uh, if you're reading a Nancy Boys, the book, it's, it's a good book. Gaiman did his research. I know that he reached out to people who didn't look like him. Uh, people who didn't come from where he comes from to do it. And so but, I like this. But, but don't you feel that was actually the whole point of a Nancy? Oh, like that, that character, like that was the whole point. That was the whole point of a Nancy to be that angry character, to take up for everyone. You know, right, all, all right. the... a Nancy is, um, he's a minor God in, of West Africa. He's the trickster. He's the one who shows up and fucks stuff up in order to help you, you know, fix it. He is the American version of him, although the American version of him is very much toned down, is uh, the rabbit. Uh, God, what's the rabbit? Rare rabbit. Uh, Rare rabbit. Rare rabbit, yes. You know, the toned down version of him is Rare rabbit in America. But Anansi, the, the pure version... He's he's just below Loki, I think. You know, oh, wow. um, Loki Loki is the alpha of fuck shit up trickster. A Nancy sure. is just below him because the difference is again. Tell me when to shut up, and I will. The difference is to me is Loki as um, that Norse god. He's a full god, right? And yeah. he doesn't care. But a Nancy. 
his African roots, his West African. He's part of the community even as he fucks with the community. Does that make sense? So and Nancy does not go as far as Loki does mm-hmm. when well, Loki, fucking Loki. stuff up because he's bored. Because and Nancy still remembers, this is my community, I'm part of it, and I care, even mm-hmm. as I'm going to fuck with them. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Loki, Loki, you know, brings around, uh, brings about Ragnarok, and in, uh, in the uh, in Norse Norse yeah. myth, he doesn't he doesn't give a fuck. But yeah. Loki has also but a big part job. in American Gods as well, without spoilers. Right, 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 right. This is true. Yeah, yeah. But Loki's job in the big myth, you know, in the big myth, in the Norse myth, his job is to do what he needs to do to bring about the fall of the gods, to bring about Ragnarok. So there, there, there are differences between him and Anansi. All right, I'm going to bring another caller. We've got five people on the phone line. This is what other show would have oh, five oh, people my. on the phone at the All same right, time? All right, go away. Thank you. Oh, you so can much. stay. Uh, what a pleasure speaking to you. No. Stay. Bye. We want to have as many people on the phone as Thanks, possible. Oh, she left. This is I love that matters. caller. Dark Matters, you're you're on. If, if you've been on this hold, you're on. Matters. I'm still here. I, I felt How's it like... going? Hi. Oh man, I'm so good. How are you, dude? Uh, I, I'm doing well. You're you're on, uh, you're on with uh, uh, with the writer of the TV series documentary, Brody Stevens. Yeah, Enjoy show it. that I I interviewed for and did not get get the job. <laughs> Wait, are we you talking, didn't say are we Brody Stevens' about... real name. It's Brody Stevens. <laughs> is, so is this? Is that person? Is that is that Wiz, Wiz, Who is that? Is that Wiz World? That, is, that is Brother Wags. Brother Wags is uh, Brother Wags. Joe, Joe, the, Joe the, the the Joe Wagner. Okay, so my I have a question for Joe. My question is about when Joe was on the Tim and Eric show. I'm curious about that experience. I uh, I played two characters in the um, what's the MTV parody. That they did in an episode, it, uh, Derek and Jim something. and Derek. Were the Tim and Jim Eric and fans? Derek. Yeah. Jim and Derek. Is yeah. That what it was called. Yeah. yeah it was like an MTV parody of the show, and I knew someone who worked at Absolutely Productions, and they called and said, "Would you, would you want to come by, and just do these two quick bits in one of the episodes?" And I was literally working at an office space that was a block away. Does anybody remember the show Mansers? I do remember that, yeah. Kind of. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah. I worked as a, <laughs> I worked in research at Mansers. And so I went into work and, uh, and then like about an hour later I said, oh, I have, to, I have to go, I'll be right back. And then I walked the block down. I put on a bunny outfit and a B outfit <laughs> for two shots. And then uh, that was it. I said, thank you. And I walked back to my shitty job at Mansers. Was, did, you have, did you have any, any experience of actually working with Tim Heidecker, Eric Wareheim? Yeah, I had met them before, just I think through comedy circles. And so, you know, okay. I well, that's, said, hey, we, we just want you to stand here, the camera will come up to you, look like this, make this face, pour honey on your mouth, or I think I had to pour honey on my mouth for the beat <laughs> part. And uh, I did my job, a good little comedy soldier, and then I and then I left. I guess that actually informs the other part of my question, which I, I, I'm curious, they, they present in such a unique manner. I'm wondering what you, like, in, in your time of knowing them, whether it was casually or professionally on set, what was their decorum like in the time that you spent working with them and knowing them? Uh, they seemed like, they seemed, you know, I guess like as comedy types go, they seemed like focused. They were very focused. I think they were, it was one of those things. We shot it in the alley behind their offices and it was very fast. You know, I mean, the whole thing probably took all of 15 minutes. Wow. 
I mean, they weren't uh, they were they didn't seem like back slapping gregarious types, but they they seemed you know fine, but just you know they were focused on the work. I appreciate hearing that they they strike me as um, having such a wild and untamed energy. It's it's interesting to hear about this direct focused quality to to how they work. Yeah, I wouldn't say they they weren't like they didn't. I think a lot of times you either find more extroverted energy in comedy, or you find the kind of focused introverted uh, energy, and they seem to be more the latter. What what kind of energy would you say that we have, Joe? <laughs> As if we need to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Bilo has a great drowsy <laughs> energy to him, <laughs> and uh, and Frankie has IBS. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's that's definitely a pull quote. That's that's kind of, I'm literally typing this out now to put that as a pull quote on our uh, website. Uh, you know, you know, the chest devil. We we need to understand, especially because you know the tooth man may not like us on this show what 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 are we like i'm afraid i'm afraid for the woman who called who made herself the show i'm afraid for her safety now is tooth man going to go after her oh oof. I, you know, I don't think so. yeah. hey joe winger chest double here uh long time uh good one good one cd good one <laughs> I, I'm just reading about Mansers now, uh, and it, on the Wikipedia page has this quote from Eric Andre, which is, "If Maxim Magazine and Crystal Meth had a baby, it would give anal birth to the show Mansers." Bilo, you would have you would have loved working on a show I'm, like Mansers because literally for eight hours a day, I had to think of the craziest question I could type into a Google search. <laughs> and try to find some near scientific validation for, you know, can a man, you know, one man fit his penis inside <laughs> another man or something like that, you know. <laughs> so, oh, man. Uh, uh, I'm back. I, I, I apologize about that, Joe. Uh, uh, um, what? I, I see that you were a, uh, a rather production assistant on Malcolm in the Middle. What type of sandwiches did you normally pick up for everybody? Uh, I usually picked up lunch orders from any of the establishments that were across Ventura Boulevard because that shot at CBS uh, Radford, the CBS Studio Radford Center. Hell yeah! So I would get um, that's a place where you I'd may get or coffee may not orders and lunch orders. Chase. Sorry, from where you know from where uh, where Dupar's was. Um, and I was a terrible PA, and I actually got fired um, because I was not. I, I the person who gave me the job, she didn't want me there anymore because she thought I was a bad PA. But everybody, everybody that worked on the show liked me, and they were very sad when I left. But I got to go into the writers' room at the end of my last day, and I sang a cappella the theme song to the show, You're Not the Boss of Me Now, to the executive <laughs> producer. There it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's great. And what was their reaction to that? Did I they say? Did they say life is unfair <laughs> and then they made you leave? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I did a little falsetto at the end. Life is unfair. Wasn't that? I, used, uh, I was a terrible. I was a terrible PA. They would, you know, I'd get. They'd ask for coffee, and I'd go to a Smart and Final, and I'd buy one of those giant metal cans of like wood <laughs> shavings yeah. for coffee. And uh, you know the the coffee that's like you know it's, it's like half sawdust. And uh, and one day, finally, one of the writers came in with a bag of uh, ground Starbucks coffee and he was like, I want you to smell this and he put it under my nose <laughs> and then he put the can from Smart and Final under my nose and he's like, smell this 
And then I felt so bad that I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I should have been getting you drinkable coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that's on them to just be like, hey, get this coffee sucks. Get different coffee. Like, Well, they had asked like they had asked for like oh. three weeks in a row for oh. the Starbucks shit. And I just kept getting them. <laughs> All right. Uh, never mind. Stuff, <laughs> I was like, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to save the, I wanted to save the production money. <laughs> I had the worst the worst PA that I well, he was actually a really great guy that I liked a lot, but he was just terrible PA. And one time I was I was working with directors, so they went to get us lunch and and uh the the director had ordered like chicken or something and then the guy brought her a sa- like a salmon meal and she was like oh i think he gave me somebody else's meal this is salmon not chicken he said oh I, they they i asked them they said the salmon was better than the chicken so i just got that for you instead <laughs> and then he just left and he ah. was like what <laughs> That's like, could you imagine going to a restaurant and ordering something? <laughs> and something being like, oh, that, I, I got and you. Then he, and then he moved. And then that PA moved to, where do you live, Chess Devil? <laughs> Pigeon Forge, Pigeon Tennessee. Forge Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee. I think his brother, I think his brother uh, was a writer on some show or something like that met his brother anyway <laughs> so they said they said that they said the salmon was better so i got you salmon mm. a lot of so you know joe joe i got another question for you sorry to, to keep asking another question you, you worked on mansers no no, no I, I did this show i did was. this for a reason i did this for a reason <laughs> i need my ego need, needed some stroking go ahead Thank you God. deserve you deserve right. to be stroked so, joe I, you know the people that were cast. You know the people that were cast on Mansers. I was told I was too fat to be on Mansers. <laughs> oh my God, Chess Devil! That doesn't seem very fair, Chess Devil. Please tell me that's part of your. Please tell me that's part of your origin story, Chess Devil. Uh, sure, but that was one of my rejected only Rejected by Mansers. Yes, I was rejected by Mansers. The best non-union show in the world. <laughs> I, 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 I. Here's the thing about that show. I just have, I can't even imagine who they wouldn't have hired for those dumb reenactments. Or whatever <laughs> exactly. <did>. A- exactly. <laughs> just double, just double, you're, like, one of, you're one of you, a kind, you, baby. You're one of a kind. Just double. Do you feel like you were somehow responsible for that yourself? For being fat, yeah. I mean, I'm an alcoholic. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I, I need to. No, no, no. Forgive me. I need to. I need to further contextualize that. Do you think they were giving you that as a BS, like a bogus response for something else? I mean, I, I guess uh, maybe I didn't read properly, but you don't even read for that shit. It's like they look at you and it's like, okay, you, you, and you, you'll work for this scene. Next. They looked at Chess Devil and they said, we don't want our viewers to feel that bad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, I was going to say, but... Um, Chess, oh, I do want to say for the record, I do believe that Chess Devil's weight is a total setup. It's a frame-up job. I don't think wow. he was responsible for it. I think, there are, I think it's what? a lot of uh, external stuff. I've seen Chess Devil. He is a beautiful, handsome man. Well, thank you. Thank you. Now say my name. <laughs> ah! oh my Man- Manuel! Manuel! I'm sorry, Manuel! Manuel, the return of Manuel. Taking, it's, taking, it's, uh, it's very, very triggering to go back to, uh, to go back to waking up to, to that or, or hearing that through my sleep. I'm just happy that we got Bilo back awake. Oh my yeah, God. look how awake he is uh, right now. Yeah, so we going to hour three. Can, can I? Uh, can I ask? It's. A favor? It is getting I, rather late. I gotta ask. Can I ask a favor from everyone here? Sure. Fine. I mean, you are asking a favor of of. You're you're uh, you're asking a favor of one of the writers of Doggy Fizzle Televizzle. Okay. 
Um, Mr. Uh, Ivo-Fizzle, um, can, can we just go around the horn and just say who we are so we can identify these voices? Um, because even I'm lost at this point. I, okay. I'm, I'm Hunty. I'm Hunty M. Altman. Okay. Yeah, I can confirm. That is, that is... <laughs> I'm <the> Jeopardy <laughs> chess champion. Can confirm. Uh, my name is Chess Devil. I uh, live in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, <laughs> with my wife, who manages yeah. a Walgreens. I'm fat and I'm broke. Uh, a Lego And set. Uh, my, my name is Joe Wagner. I was a writer on but a uh, producer on But Can They Sing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, and this is and this is the voice of Brian O'Connell. <laughs> oh! oh! Wait, I I lost track again. I don't remember who I'm supposed to be. So this, this is, is the not voice. Me saying, uh, this is not me saying I actually am, but for the purpose of this bit, I guess that makes me the Tooth Man. Wow, I'm not the Tooth Man. And I am the voice of uh, Bilo's imaginary dog. <laughs> Actually, Joe, if if we were doing a show where it was just Bi- it was just Bilo in his house and Bruno started talking to him, you would definitely it would definitely be your voice. <laughs> Bilo, don't don't fall asleep on your fucking Twitch show. <laughs> I, I do yeah. love the hunter ass. Hunter S is perfectly reasonable. That really what you should say when you have six no people on an audio show. <laughs> yeah, six no six men on an audio show. Uh. It, was, it, was, it was better that I didn't learn. I mean, if everybody says a different thing, then, you know, I suppose if you have a mental model of, of, of each of the individual people yeah. that... It is. It's not helpful, but I can pick out everybody's voice. Yeah, I mean, there's no mistaking my incredibly nasally voice. Uh, it's true. Yeah, you've got a real. <laughs> Milo, do you? Uh, Milo, do you know? Do you know who I am at this point? I actually don't know who you are. <laughs> oh, I have. Uh, I've been a presence in your life in ways that you don't even know. <laughs> wow. Oh my uh, god. Is it, is it Andre Radoyasich? No, that's a great guess, though. BGF Central with the backhanded compliment. Y'all are helping my insomnia. Thank you. I hope you I hope you're able to fall asleep. Thank you. We'll, we'll continue we'll continue on so that you can rest easily. Welcome to After the Matter oh, Circle, wow. Jerry. Milo, this is the voice of other duck. I I bought you food on a couple of occasions. Oh, oh, yes. Hello, hello. I don't know if you actually ate those donuts, but I'm happy you received them. I did. I did receive them. They were they were beautiful donuts. Oh, and, this, uh, this and is a uh, this is donut guy. <laughs> yeah, this is donut guy. <laughs> donut guy. Yeah, from Watch Bible Sleep Live. <laughs> That was so cool. I just, I gotta say, as a fan of the show, I loved that you ordered Bilo donuts, and I love that Bilo was like, uh, I'll just leave them outside. I'm not gonna go out <laughs> and get them. <laughs> <laughs> and every, every fat guy watching the show was like, Bilo, you fucking dick! <laughs> So, so can I just say, Bilo, I'm kind of uncomfortable at how much of my life you know, but then again, I put it out there. <laughs> it's true. I probably shouldn't repeat it, well, but I do. Uh, unfortunately, the the brain that helps me, you know, perform or perhaps not perform in uh, in trivia game shows, uh, it doesn't it doesn't turn off. Uh, so I will, uh, you know, uh, the. Uh, I'll put the constellation of, of facts to, together. Uh, I wish I had constellations of Michael, facts. Michael, how much did you win? Uh, I, you know, in the case that I won, uh, uh, the people who have won on the show have won have won relatively uh, significant amounts of money. Um, I, I can go. There's a, a Chase statistics uh, Google Google spreadsheet that's worth uh, that's worth looking at. Yeah. By the way, if, if, if I know you can't confirm or deny, but if you were to confirm, uh, if you were to participate in the show, how many of your partners were just complete idiots? Uh, that's a great question. 
if I if I did let's say you're in the, you know you're show? in the dressing room and you met you you met all of the people no, oh you don't you, meet them you don't meet you don't meet oh. anybody that's like part of the point of the show is they separate you uh they separate well, you basically look, Lila, the entire we know, time we, we know you have to say that but but let's just say you did <laughs> Uh, let's say, let's say that I, I did in fact compete on the show with people. Uh, I would, uh, I, honestly, you know, uh, zero to one people. I would say oh, between zero and one. <laughs> okay, so I was the only one that won the actual chase and went out to the end. <laughs> and one idiot. Between zero right, and I'm one. I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say one. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say zero. Between zero and one. This is exciting. All right. I, I have two questions. Two questions, by the way. Yes. Uh, question number one. Uh, can you, uh, uh, like, put yourself in the headspace of three weeks from now? Sure. Sounds like okay. a thought experiment. I've done it. I've done that. Uh, okay. So three weeks from now, you're you're answering me this question. Three weeks from now, uh, did you win the game, show? I uh, three weeks from now, it, a show that I was that I was not on, regardless of whether <laughs> I was ever on a show or not, has aired. <laughs> so I have no. I the the answer is the same as it is today. Uh, I I just can I say I really just like all the <laughs> mental gymnastics that you you have to go through. I get a lot of value. I, I, I get a lot of value out of it. You know, okay. I love. Oh, I love. We're all just trying to screw Bilo out of like a hundred grand. <laughs> Bilo, wait, does that mean grand would that's be all I a lot of money to win on any game show? The only thing I fucked up was what date I picked. Otherwise, my thought experiment would have worked. Uh. I mean, the the answer is only. Uh, I here's some more some more information that I I think I can give. Let me see if I can find it. That's why you're looking that up. Yes, sure. Is everyone who participates required to sign an NDA? Uh, yes, everyone who participates has to sign an NDA. And I and like even if they I, win nothing, like even if they perform very badly. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, you were not, uh, like, I would love, I would love it if people who went on, who went on the chase and lost, uh, like, advertised how terribly they did, because the, uh, the payout on Jeopardy, if you, if you get, uh, second place, or if you get third place is a thousand dollars, if you get second place is two thousand dollars, um, on Jeopardy. And I think most and, friend, like, gives you that money or something. That's right. It's uh, it's. It, I think uh, a leave. I think is now the uh, the, the it's heading it, sponsor. It, yes, you're right. It is. It is a leave. Yes. Yeah. Um. But Jeopardy doesn't pay for your plane ticket, and they don't pay for your hotel. The Chase uh, does pay for your plane ticket and hotel. Um. But if you, I believe, if you go on the show, uh, you know, if you if you go on the show and you are chosen as an alternate, which means like you don't get to play that day. They just give you three hundred dollars for for having you quarantine in a hotel room for uh for like an entire weekend, um, and then yeah uh yeah one of the uh, one of the things that like you know I may know something about may not know something about depending on what the results of my particular episode were, uh but if you if you go on the show and are eliminated in the individual chase or like lose in the final chase uh you go home with literally 0 dollars like you don't you get nothing oh so you'd be better off you'd be better off not getting on the show at all basically yes <laughs> and then getting the 300 bucks Philo I don't want to get I don't want to get too heavy at 1:20 a.m. 4:20 for chest devil. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna did, snug a bowl. Hold on. <laughs> did the NDA cover any sexual malfeasance that would have, you know, uh, occurred with you, or did it cover sexual malfeasance? I mean, not not really. Yeah, yeah, uh, like you know. You know oh, we're saying actually, actually bro bro brother Wags, you missed last week's show 
I watched it. I watched it afterwards. Okay, okay, yeah, because he had his whole. I had, I, yeah, my background. Had to go through. Yes, my they they went through my Facebook to find out to find out uh, all of the <clears throat> right. all, all the the horrible things I may have said. And it turns out not not really that many. Um, though I do have a lot. But, of... But if if anything had if anything had happened, like Kevin Jennings started hitting on you unwantedly. Uh huh. Uh, would you have? Would that be covered under the? Would you not be allowed to divulge that? That's a great. NBA? That's a great question. I don't. I don't know. Um, I imagine if you know. I imagine if somebody uh, there's there's no way that like an NDA extends to somebody breaking uh, you know, breaking the the law. Uh, okay, no, tell that to. tell that to all the women. Tell that to I all think, the women. I, I, Good job, uh, Byla. Uh, great, yeah. great, yeah, great. Yeah. yeah, he has a Michael. He has a point. I really feel. I really feel like the producers of the chase probably wish that they had seen this episode of our show before deciding to uh, cast you. This would have definitely come up as uh, controversial yeah, statements. It's true. It's true. I'm glad they they did not uh, they did not review uh, the at this point hundreds of hours of dark matters and after the matters uh, uh, that have been produced over the last uh, year. Yeah. Philo, Joe, Joe Wanger here. <laughs> uh, when we see that you win, when we see God, that I you win you, a bro. lot of money on a game show, will you be applying any of those winnings uh, as an investment in Dark Matters, After the Matters, The Matters Empire? That's a question that I had. Production. Yeah. Value, what about what about our pilot? A pilot. Yeah. What about maybe? our TV pilot, Philo? When are we gonna go? Sh- when are we gonna go shoot it's- that? I mean, uh, if in fact, you know, I have, I have like a liquid, you know, if, uh, I have some liquid earnings as a result of, uh, uh, performance on a, on a game show, then it seems like it would be foolish not to Thank you. I've got, I've got some liquid time. earnings right now there. It's in my bladder, <laughs> but I can hold, I'm <laughs> holding it for y'all. Yeah, it's earnings right now. The one thing, the one thing, the one thing, buys for the show is one of those uh, driver alert uh, <laughs> things to put, like that truckers put over their ears. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Bilo has cra- Bilo's fallen up. asleep and crashed his car. <laughs> okay, we've got another call. Dark matters. This is true. This is dark matters. Save that money for your retirement. Save that money for your rent. Save that money for when you don't have a job. You're between gigs. Save that money. Don't, if, don't put, well, save that money. That's but, what, I wanted to uh, what, if, what, what if my retirement is is the dark matters, is, you know, the residuals from dark matters, uh, the TV series? <laughs> Could you imagine? Sweet. I'm still too fat for dark Sweet. matters, the TV series. That's great. Well, you know, it's good not... to know that Bilo has Dark Matters, the TV series, as his back pocket, <laughs> <laughs> his fallback plan. Hey, I know, right? But it's all about faith. You people, what? you know, your creators. It's all about faith, right? But save that goddamn money. That's what Oprah said. <laughs> save that money. Okay, bye. Thank you, caller. What What would be Dark Matters, the TV series? Oh, show? we actually have. Like, I have. Wait, we have a pitch cool. doc. Yeah. That wasn't Oprah, was it? Uh, I'm pretty sure that Oprah wasn't. probably would have just told us to to. Okay, she doesn't refer to herself in the third yeah. person, right? Oprah would have told us to just believe it and it'll happen because is that's w- how her life worked, and so she thinks that's how everybody's is life this, works. Is Wiz World Live around? Or is Wiz World Live going to call in? I don't know. It's a question for uh, them. I think they might be Wiz too World. tired from doing the, the, the uh, de- Green Knight opening today. The fans are demanding it. Mm-hmm. Apparently, someone in the chat is saying that uh, Dark Matters has a pretty good pilot. Yeah, that's me. He seems pretty confident about it. I, well, I don't have we talked any part of a team that that's not uh, that seems reluctant or is kind of dragging their feet? Uh, <laughs> legit. If I mean, part of it, part of it is uh, that there was matters, a pandemic, if you, if you a pandemic pilot. for a year, and then uh, when I started. Uh, reproducing and having children kind of made it difficult yeah. and and we both work a lot but um uh didn't we talk didn't we talk about what our ideas for our, our pilot were on on the show haven't we talked about that on after the matters i think so yeah we've talked about it 
Um, what percentage of the pilot is chest devil? That's what uh, I'd like it? to know as his representative <laughs> and devil. manager. The, the pilot, I mean, the pilot, I think, uh, we. I remember working on it at, at Tierra Mia Coffee uh, on, on Alvarado uh, in, like, what, 2017, yeah. maybe? It's been a long time coming. All right. Dark Matters. Hello. I, it, it, Liz Live is here. Hello. Oh, yeah. I was We're coming. Here. I was coming <laughs> with There we go. Uh, wow. wow. Wizard. Real cacao. Yeah, everyone so in my, the hot tub stream the last three weeks. Everyone in my house has been asleep for you know at, at this point hours, except including for you. except for me, um, including. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, well, I can't well, believe that we well. have five they people exist. on the phone. Well, and this what, is the... just just now starting to devolve into Pretty a shit fun. show. <laughs> kind of a party yeah. line. Except we need but Manuel went, uh, is what I think we need. Other duck wanted to talk to, to me? Well, it's it's not so much and, and please let me finish before you jump to any conclusions. Oh, it's sorry. not so much that I myself wanted to talk to you as much as I wanted mm. to hear your opinion on the things that have gone on this evening. Mm. Uh you know, it's engaging content that regularly makes me question why I put so much effort into my show. <laughs> I animated an eagle in After Effects this week. Why? why uh, I'm adding that to my... I'm, uh, I'm adding that to my uh, pull the world, quote. Uh... <laughs> Wizard well, World breaks the back Live. every week trying to achieve <laughs> Disney level animation and the, and, wow. and Bilo is the host of the show. That actually yeah. That actually that actually brings up a really great point, Wiz World Live. There there are a few things that have come up this evening that I I'm sorry, I've had a little to drink. A few things have come up this evening that I think are worth talking about. The the tooth man did drive bys on two regular contributors to the show, yeah. someone earlier this evening said, not everything is content. And you yeah, as that's... another content creator, I think that you are, are someone who has a unique perspective on this. But is no, I think that's, that's not a point. content? There's, no, there's, there's lots of stuff that I don't talk about or post about. Like I don't, you know, post pictures every day of my real life. <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to post photos of like, you know, me hanging out with my mom, getting a nice dinner. Like that—that's not content. And like, there, there, there's some stuff that, that that I don't even bring up on shows where I'm not in character because there's stuff that you have to, you know. And there was, uh, no one watched it, but the Twilight Zone reboot that wasn't very good did have an episode about this, where there's a comedian who starts talking about everyone in his life, and they start disappearing oh, because it. he like uses them up as jokes, which was and like it, you know, it wasn't the best twist but it was a good point to the like four artists who watched it i guess me chess double and three other artists uh who watched it uh that you have to keep some things for yourself which i agree with and joe pretty much always has really wise advice and it's it's, it's, it's usually good to listen to joe well i'll say i'll say this whiz world um has great restraint great maturity he doesn't have to put pictures of himself and his mom on the line. <laughs> if you if you ask him personally, he will text them to you happily. Um, yeah, and that's what I do. I say I text him once a day. I go, give me another picture of you and your mom, <laughs> and he sends it. You know, <laughs> and then I'm I, like, I Joe, can we put mom. clothes on this time? And Joe's like, no, no, I want what I want. I added to my one hour <laughs> photo style wall collage. <laughs> <laughs> but there, I think, I think, I think we are. We are ignoring a very crucial piece of this equation, and that is mm -hmm. many of us are pounding the pavement the same as anybody else. And someone, like in the case of Joe, has actually written a book published with the Upright Citizens today that made them six, seven, eight million dollars. <laughs> I mean, this is a wealthy man. Wait, 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 Joe, do you, are you reading the book? Because I have two copies of it, one signed by Betcha that I got literally for $10. Uh, almost three times cheaper than the actual manual I had to pay for. <laughs> have I have I Good done sir. everything Good I can to make down. myself proud of the Wangert name? <laughs> yes, I have. You know, so yeah. 
Joe did actually, though, recently write a really cool pilot that I hope gets meetings and gets oh, picked up. I would up. love to read. Thanks for real life, Joe. You know, just hey, it's you good stuff. Pe- people should ask to read it. It's very good. So, so the, the Twilight Zone episode you're talking about was the, we go back to <laughs> yeah. Joe. I miss was that not written is, by uh, Heather Campbell? Are we, are we is the Twilight Zone episode we're referencing? Is that the one where the children died in the in the airplane accident? No, that's the one with Kumail, no, no, no. Where, where he's a stand-up comedian, and when he talks about someone in his life or like memories he has, that person like disappears from history. Oh, excellent! I feel so much better because he like uses them up on stage, and it's you know very. Got it. Ham-fisted, clearly not a Rod Serling uh, type of plot, but it, it had a good point. But what, Joe, was was that not a Heather and Campbell joint? Like your your friend? Yeah, I was going to say if you guys want, I, I imagine if you ever uh, could get Heather on your show, um, I don't Please know. Don't play this Dark call Matters. for her. Um, but she, yeah, she wrote. I think on both seasons, she went from staff writer, I think, to story editor or something. Boy, and what uh, would Heather and, do on the show? In that case Heather does hear this call, my name is Griffin Patrick Davis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, can, can confirm. I've seen the IMDb, and it is Griffin Patrick Davis. <laughs> Yeah, that was a pre-Jack mail too. Weird episode. Right, Weird back, episode. Back in his human shape, yeah. yeah. And, and, and his on, veins uh, were, like, on, deep inside his body. Steroids. Can that be... How oh, about this? I want to pitch, I wanna pitch an idea. Chemical. I want to yeah. pitch an idea to Dark Matters. Please. Yeah. Could buy a, like, a long-term, uh, uh, a long-term goal for the show. Could Bilo go through a similar... To oh male my God. transformation. Oh <laughs> my yes. God! What if? Be- seen by so that, by like so that, uh, his whole, I, his whole is, facial now, bone is, structure changes and everything. <laughs> this is the con- this is the content that people want to see. Bylaw, are you ready <laughs> to make this kind of sacrifice for your art? I am. Can, can I? I, I, really uh, am. I, I, I do. I, I do want to be actually, very jacked for the for the pilot. Though I do think it's le- it's less funny. Like people who are. In good oh, shape. God. Are I really fun. hope if we're gonna sh- if we're gonna shoot it's our pilot, fun. I hope Boy, I hope that, that I get skinnier than you when we shoot. I hope you get fatter. You're fatter than me when we shoot the pilot. I love the person who is in out of all these callers right now. The person who is in the best shape is like, oh, I want to be in better shape. <laughs> Wait, I know I should. I know I probably shouldn't yeah. say this on air, but Frankie just texted me that they're Brandon. not casting Chest Devil for the pilot. <laughs> oh, uh, oh no! I just wanted to be a PA. I want to. I want to. Tooth Man gets to be in the back. pilot. Who? Oh, I didn't hear no, you. Um, I just want to say, uh, you know, I. I've, uh, I've he been, begs uh, to be a PA. Yeah. That's that's what you missed. I've I've been calling in to this show for so long. I just want people to know that I actually have gone through that transformation already. And I'm flexing right now. Holy Damn. shit. It would break shit. Yeah. I think what we should have Where's the horny should, crew when you need yeah. them? We should have like a re have you guys seen the reboot of America's Most Wanted? Uh it's I, I watch it I throw it on in the background on Hulu when I'm trying to fall asleep. Uh, and they have they have now like it's sort of like TMZ where they have like a bullpen of researchers that are pretending to do shit while they're doing their show. I feel like we should just oh, get no. we should just get oh, including no. including a famous detective with the best name ever, Paul Holes. He like just comes out and does like weird reports for like two sentences and then goes back to sit and pretend to answer a phone. But I feel like we should have something like that. If we if we do our pilot, wow. we should we should have like uh, our elite research team or whatever, and it should just be like everyone who's on the phone now, just like <laughs> like sitting in front of laptops in like a in like a big bullpen, like <laughs> like sweating. We should try to get I'm super answers. down. Mancers Can you imagine the audio to feedback decorate. on that? Yeah. Could Chess Devil just be on a laptop saying I'm researching from East Coast? East Coast yeah, <laughs> yeah, just in it, just in a corner. We've got research teams around the globe. <laughs> just a, a someone have someone go and take a video at a uh, at a Domino's in New Zealand. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Can I? Can standing, I? Standing at the Eiffel Tower in Vegas. Can I bring up just real quick that um, 
people may not know this, but Chess Devil made a visual on video appearance on another Twitch stream show. Yeah, heard Pac-Tel. about this. <laughs> Wags, you mm. tried to push that like two weeks ago. <laughs> I know, but it's because Chess Devil figured out how he did, how to do it. He had to get past, and look, and I'm the same way. I don't like appearing on video, but he had to get past that. So what he did was he put an entire face covering, like red piece of nylon fabric over his face that completely covered his face. It looks it looks just like a bad S and M mask. Like there's no mouth. It was just like a like this red hose over his face, and I thought it was brilliant. It did. I, it made me not look at his body at all. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you liked what I would try to do, though. Know? That was that was. I thought that was the chef kiss. If, if using your quote. <laughs> well, did, and you were also weren't you smoking through it or drinking through it? Yeah, I was smoking my vape through it. Yeah, <laughs> and it made it. It made it made a stain on on the fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you know what? If you give me like two minutes, I could probably do it now. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, <sighs> Joe was was trying to show it. I told a story on Al Ramirez's show. Where I shit on my um, my wrestling coach. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's part. That's the other part of the story. A man in a red nylon face covering told a story about shitting on his high school wrestling coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I wish I saw that. What? <sighs> there it is. There's that yelling. Is uh, he on? Tomorrow's, tomorrow's a big day for me. It's first first Knicks playoff game in eight years. That's all I've got. It's all it's I got. Big. Is that how long well, can you can you give now? us a preview a preview of this Knicks team? What 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 do I have to be excited uh, about? For, all right, for this, sure. Uh, for the for the zero people on this call or on the stream that care about this. Yes. Basketball. Thank you. Thank you for the round. That. Thank you for the round ball rock. Um. Uh, okay, so Ju- Julius Randle basically uh, turned from a like a pretty good player into like basically baby LeBron <laughs> this year. Like he's he he became like in, like basically if you were thinking about the Knicks this season, you're like they're going to be terrible unless Julius Randle becomes one of the ten best players in the league. Uh, and then you would have rolled your eyes and just assumed that the Knicks were going to suck. But Julius Randle became one of the ten best players in the league, uh, which is insane. And they've got they've got uh Derek Rose, who you know MVP from ten years ten years was, ago. Wait a second, I thought he was on the I I thought he was on the the Knicks like he was a couple of okay. years ago. And then he got traded to the Pistons. Derek Rose uh, fl- was and- on the Knicks and he was like a big signing, and they were like, "We're back, baby! We got Derek Rose!" And then he flamed out because he was trying back. to be a star. Yeah, he's, he's, he's playing guard. Yeah, he was trying well, to be a star. The only position uh, he can play is I- six. Ew. He flamed, so he flamed out. But then he he kind of had a resurgence in Detroit. We kind of realized, like, hey, I'm not the alpha dog anymore, and I'm kind of I don't have my quickness anymore. And he kind of worked on his game, and now he's he's a finalist for Six Man of the Year. Um, then you've got Emmanuel Quickly, who uh, everybody laughed at the Knicks, including myself, when they drafted him this year because he was he was supposed to be in the second round or basically out of the draft. Everybody thought he was too short. Uh, and that he was not going to be able to guard anybody in the league. He's probably like the fourth or fifth now, best rookie this year. Frankie, uh, Robinson is still injured. Do you think that's going to hurt their chances in the playoff here? I don't because uh, because N- Nerlens Noel, has, who was another guy they picked off the scrap heap, and people thought they just signed him because he went to the University of Kentucky, and basically the, the president of the mm-hmm, Knicks mm-hmm. is like friends with John Calipari and hired John Calipari's right-hand man to be their assistant coach, who turned out to be an amazing coach. And they're like, uh, they're just they're just signing all these dudes from Kentucky. and But Noel has been like incredible on defense mm-hmm. to the point where it's like you question whether they even need Mitchell Robinson. Which is nuts. A thing that would be insane to say wow, four brutal. months ago. Brutal. It's crazy. But he's 
Kentucky I, I, the well, and, and now, do you do you think that uh, Harper's going to see any playing time? I mean, being a two-way oh, uh, I see. player from oh, oh, now I see you're just on the Nick. Wikipedia page. Uh, uh, I would say Harper <laughs> Harper will not see the court. I don't, I don't think Jared Harper is going to play. Uh, considering that I think he's played a total of maybe ten minutes the whole season. <laughs> But up until up until that one, you, you, had, you had me going. I thought it, that it, 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 it might be an overreach. I, wasn't I, I mean, that's kind was. of a test of a real of a real fan uh, if you I, didn't I, even I, know who that was, like, because um, that's like a, he's like the he's like the <laughs> last person on the bench. Like you you, you would not be uh, blamed for not know, of knowing who Jared Harper was. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, Frankie, who's Ricky Lede? Uh, R- Ricky Lede <laughs> uh, was supposed to be one. He was like supposed to be one of the top prospects. He was supposed to be the next big star for the Yankees, and then ended up just being like a solid role player for the Yankees, who has an amazing Twitter account. <laughs> uh, I have a question. Um, when I was in the eighth grade, uh, I played for uh, my middle school yes. baseball team, and they gave me the most improved player award. Now, is that MIP. like the sixth man award, where it's really an insult? Uh, the sixth, sixth man, man award is not, not an insult. Uh, first of all, most improved player uh, for a kid in middle school, I would say, is sort of like a backhanded compliment. Yeah, that's that's you know. That's for the kid who were like everyone thought that that he would like break his yeah. knee and he managed to play through yep. the whole season. Yeah, I, that, yeah, and uh, Hunty on the trophy it said you suck less now. <laughs> yeah. I, think yeah. I, think you, I think you get that the year you managed to open the lunchable yeah. on your own. When I when I was twelve, I was I was on the best <laughs> team in my soccer league. Uh, and I was the goalie, and I was really proud of myself that I let in zero goals the entire season. So when it was time for them to do like the all-star team, uh, I was like shocked and, and annoyed that I was left off the all-star team as the only goalie that uh, let in zero. Uh oh, did I lose? Did I lose everybody? Has it happened again? No, we're here. Okay, no, Bilo, we lost Bilo. I can hear you. Hey, there it My is. Video goal. I was shocked to find out that I was not on the all-star team. But uh, what, what what I failed to consider was the fact that my team was so good that nobody ever shot the ball against me. I only had to defend two shots the entire That's season. very funny. <laughs> so I was, all, I was such a dick about letting in zero goals the whole season. But the reason that they played me at goalie was because everyone else on the team was so good and I was awful that they just stuck me back there because my only skill was to kick the ball really far. So if the ball ever went near me, I could just kick it really far. That's but I I was Very like, funny. I was like, how am I not? On, I like went to the head of the league, and was like, how am I not on the All Star team? No I learned zero goals. Yeah, that's the kind of kid I was. How old, how old were you? That's at this like time? sitting uh, out like eleven or twelve. Texas, like, well, no one's ever shot me. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie, how old were you at the time? Uh, like tw- eleven or twelve. I, I love a twelve-year-old going up to a coach and being like, "Why am I not on the All Star team?" Yeah. I've let in zero goals. Huge move. What's funny is a a kid from uh, my team got picked to be the goalie on the all-star team (laughs) because he he, he was actually good at soccer. Eh. Frankie, would you say you have strong legs? I would say I have strong legs. It's from carrying around my giant uh, stomach for most of my life. Hey, uh... <laughs> Not even a joke. Look at these. Look at these bad boys. Of, uh, Got him. Frank, Wait, yeah, Loki. I think it's also from carrying a lot of uh, look, carrying look a lot this. of improv teams you've been on. Look at these. Look at these, <laughs> look at these muscles. I can't. I don't know if I can even. Look at that. There we go. Hashtag Frankie's legs. Hashtag Frankie's legs. Careful, careful. Watch that. Watch that. Oh, look at them Watch calves. That Watch They're that strong. Foot. I really do have strong yeah, legs. Really a, a, a right I, feel, like, wait, I, I feel compelled to donate money. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. You know, what, what's strange is I, I also have really nice, like, powerful calves. Yeah, well, we're all fat men who lost weight. So when yeah. you're a fat man most of your life, you lose weight, you get great calves. Yeah, and then they disappear <laughs> after a little while. 
What happened to your shin? Uh, I've got some eczema on there. I've been welcome to after the fatters. <laughs> I've been scratching it. After the fatters, damn, that is. I think. Also, now we're getting into Frankie's. Okay, I want skin matters. Auditions. Uh, so I, I played I played football in high school, and we were so bad, um, we lost every game, including a game we played for a charity event against the school of the deaf. <laughs> 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 Those deaf kids were those deaf kids were tough. I mean, they were tough. What can you say? Chestnut's coach is like, you guys can fucking hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was so terrible. We were the worst. We were the first team in Pitcher Forge High School. And we were the worst. <laughs> Uh-oh. I played on a... a, a other, other Duck has a question game in the chat. Yeah, it's a good question. Who is the fattest regular contributor? Based on... Based yeah, that's on, Chess Devil, 100%. Yeah, Chess Devil, 100%. Based on Chess Devil's description. I don't know Chess Devil. <laughs> I'm I don't know, Chess Devil. I've, I've chest seen devil. pictures of you, and it seems to me like you, like you, you, you fucking got it going on, man. Like I'd let you, you know. Wow. I mean, we're, we're good. When are you gonna come down to uh, Splash Guns? I literally that's, I'm like, on that's my way, a legitimate man. offer. I am on my way. It's you, me, and Hunty. We're gonna we're gonna make a skin hoagie together. No, <laughs> but is... you know, I'm the fattest guy, and that's why I'm not coming out to LA because I've gained so much weight. What do you? Oh, what, what do you think? We don't have fat. You think we don't have so, fat people I in can't LA? Come to LA looking like this. <laughs> Violet's dying. Oh no! I know you do, but like, I just can't. I just can't bring myself to do it. All right, here's here's a story. <laughs> Jeff Devil bought himself a, an extender for seatbelts because he was too scared to ask the airline pilot yeah, for one. Yeah, I feel you there. I've definitely, Oof. yeah. See, you know, chess devil, not everything is content. <laughs> oh, wow. By the, by the way, by the way, this is, <laughs> this is what we all, this is what we all live for. This is what we all live for as far as the show and chess devil's contributions. But right now, the tooth man is in a murderous rage. Yes, yeah, it's looming over everything. It's possible. It seems like yeah, a tooth, tooth man. Tooth. And it is, tooth. it is wild <laughs> for someone who who takes control of the show for hours at a time by e e emailing codes to complain about uh, <laughs> the show. Yeah. Like a bold move, you know? I mean, how, how do we know that the Tooth well, Man the tooth isn't on the line is... with us right now? I don't know. We don't. We don't. We don't. I, I mean, Never I know. feel like it's chest level, but I don't know. It's clearly not me, man. It's not me, Joe Wenger. <laughs> I can't believe it still, it still, it still says Joe, Joe Wenger down uh, here. <laughs> Joe, do you, do you ever? Uh, <laughs> what if it, What if this whole time? What if this whole time it was Matt? Hey, Bester? it's me. I've been uh, watching your set. You know, don't call Ian. Hey, don't call his wife. Hey, can we call you? I've got Wyatt some notes. <laughs> Hey, look, we do know that the Roberts family yeah. has a landline, so. No, no. The rule is Chet. you can't call Ian's wife unless you're Besser and you need money, <laughs> Hey, got some of those, some of those key know, and peel I'll checks. I'll save it. I, I w <laughs> Still getting residual checks. All right, uh, this has been fun, as as ever. I gotta go shower wow, up. Wow, why? Because it's two in the morning uh, almost. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wizworld, Wizworld, yeah. go to yes, bed sir. filthy. No, I go can't. to bed yeah. dirty. It feels gross. It stain, feels icky. I can't stain <laughs> your sheets. It feels icky. Icky. Chest but double dog. Uh, Come on. I really love uh, Dark Matters. You know, I was teasing about the effort thing, but uh, I think watching two wizards do this show would be completely unentertaining, but watching you two guys do it is oh, great. Thank you, Wizworld. <laughs> we love you. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's that, like, fourth wall thing. Like, it just, it, it works better if the wizards have some animation going on, but I think animation would yeah. ruin Dark Matters. It would be weird. 
Just, and it would well, take too an, much effort. By animation, Wiz, Wiz World means Bilo yeah. staying awake. No! <laughs> well, no. Uh, Bilo staying awake is, it has been great, but Bilo sleeping is also great. Because you guys can just take anything, and it's 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 I, I'm I'm in awe of your guys' ability every week to just keep going. Because I I mean I also couldn't do four hours. You uh, say you couldn't until you, you just maybe <clears throat> maybe Wizworld maybe Wizworld can develop an animated Bilo to go along oh, with man. Robo Bilo. I yeah I mean I have the um uh the uh, character a animation software from Adobe now, because I, I got like a full cloud oh, yeah. upgrade for no extra money, so I have all of Adobe shit. Uh, I actually probably could make a little animated oh, puppet God. silo. Hey, Dude, hey did World, the two of you... Uh, Chef Devil, big fan of Doom Room. <laughs> um, well, thank you. Did, did you look into Doom what I sent you about the uh, FTL and all that stuff? I haven't looked into it. Kind of wants to do um, the war in Afghanistan tomorrow, um, so I've been a little distracted trying to figure out if maybe I should start seizing editorial control because the the FTL stuff does sound great. I don't know how to do a even somewhat lighthearted show about Afghanistan for two hours, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, maybe I will pull up some FTL stuff just to have it in case the show crashes and burns, and I, I need to seize control before the speed bus goes under fifty five. I meant to sign off, not to start talking about my shows. Right. Well, uh, but thanks, uh, and uh, you know, good luck out there with the hot tub and everything, guys. Thank you. Take I'm care. gonna need it. All right, I've love pulled... you, Wiz World. Love you guys. Name Live, one of the Ricky best. Lizette. Big fan. Lots pinning a tweet. Ricky Lizette's <laughs> Twitter is back. I I miss I miss Wiz World Live. Oh. Yeah, the pack doesn't host it anymore. <laughs> Uh, I think that was his choice. Dad, because when you have your own channel, you have more control over what you can do, what you can't do. Ricky Lade's Twitter, he did not post since the Dodgers won the World Series in October. I do not like Twitter. March 29th. <laughs> I'm happy baseball is back now because Flyers are wow. Very, very bad. April 1st, opening day. <laughs> April 5th. Hey, Siri, big win from Philly 4. An oh, nice game from <laughs> Bullpen and Asparagus. <laughs> This can't. I can't believe this is real. April sixth, beautiful. On it. Oh my god! I said, "Hey Siri," and my phone did something. Big, big win, Phillies. He was safe. Not good from New York Yankees at all. I'm so sick of leftovers for dinner. Enough. This. Remove it, please. Hate St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals do not respect game of baseball. Never have. I did not post it. Oh, no. What's pinning a tweet? <laughs> oh, boy. I think this is fake. I think it's fake. It's probably fake, but oh. it's very fun. It's not very fun. It's not. Uh, it's not the verified Ricky Lede uh, account, certainly. Oh, was we live with the correction in the chat. Pack does still host it. Sometimes he forgets to activate it. Fair. He's got that good. He's got that good hosting, channel hosting deal. Mm. Should do that. We need to get all. Uh, we like Wizard Live knows all the secrets. I know, like, two two secrets. They're saying that they're mute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. I didn't do anything. I think... Oh, we lost our connection to the phones. That's what happened. Well, uh, I'll take that as a... Um, it's probably clear a clear sign. sign it's 2 in the morning uh... and broadcasting for four hours. Yeah. It's been, it's been a minute and a half. Uh... What are we going to do next week? Should I try to get this hot tub fixed? I mean, hot tub matters has to happen I just, you know, sooner or later. I, yeah. I'm also planning to get a, a hot Ooh. tub in my place. Why don't? Uh, but, <laughs> it's a pain in the but, ass. <laughs> Where are you yeah, going to put it on right. the very bottom? 
on the, no, on the deck. No, uh, above that. You might, you probably deck, won't be yeah. able to on the deck. It's probably too heavy. It's probably too heavy. Oh yeah. Yeah, you that's have the to, You probably have uh, to um, cut a hole and make a concrete thingy or something. Just that is the that is what we do. What yeah. we do want to do actually. But yeah. All right. Well, this is hot time, man. All right. Well, we'll if see. I if we'll I see. have some if I have a day off from work. I'm being being summoned into the bedroom. We're having baby problems. I've got to go. If I have a day off from work, I am going to fix that. All right. Thanks for sticking around. Venmo Pack Dash Theater. This is fun. Thank you all so much. And um, see you next week. We need a fun sign-off thing to say. We do. Maybe that should be it. We should just complain that we don't have a fun sign-off thing. All right. Well, good night, everybody. Yeah. Night.